Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? We're here getting stuff ready for there we oh, there we go. That's we're, a little better. That's much better. <laughs> we're here getting stuff ready. We're not starting yet. I know the stream said we were starting right now, but we're getting stuff ready here for our top eight, uh, which is starting with Brandon Bremont in who is fifth seed, fifth seed. versus Jalen Rojas who is fourth, fourth seed. seed. Yep. Priscia versus Adam. Mm. So the guys, guys are just shuffling up their deck list. You know, we've done the deck check, but now everything's in order, so we yes. don't want to have them have to worry about that. Um, but it's going to be, we're going to shuffle up. Once everybody's ready to go, they'll get three minutes to look at each other's deck lists if they want it. Yeah, if they <laughs> Both want to. Players, yeah. all, all these players have been looking at the deck list all night. Yeah. I'm pretty um, sure they... And uh, then we'll go into their 60-minute game one. So. Sounds good. And yeah, you I know a lot of people were doing a lot of testing last night. I went to bed super early, but... or. Super early, really, by comparison. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I ended up testing with uh, Jalen until like two in the morning against this matchup, and it felt it felt good when they whiff on stones with the Adam deck when they don't sure. hit the green right away. But if they get the green right away with Kage, it's just like it's a, it's pretty bad. Yeah, absolutely. Adam is, um, and I talked about this before in the world of like Adam in the in a don't cheat meta, yeah. right? Adam is probably the ruler who cares the least about don't cheat. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Because like. Adam just wants to flip them face up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the so. only one that really matters for Adam is is a Yokai Festival. Yep. But even that is not necessary for Adam to win the game. Mm -hmm. So like Adam's probably the most just like, oh okay, you had don't cheat. I pay, I paid one for it, so like whatever. Oh, yeah. Or it was free. Oh, pretty much. Like it's just like I just want to reveal, explore, and light, light and I'm just like fine. Kog is triggered. I'm good. I don't <laughs> need to play any of the runes. Oh, I have one wide open. Whispers. You want to cancel my whispers again? Eight. Like that's yeah. fine. Okay, we'll cancel it. It's fine. Yeah, uh, and I'm joined by Andrew Vatland today doing some commentary. Hello, everybody. So yeah, it's it's definitely interesting. And Jalen mains two don't cheat, three don't cheats. He mains cheats. three don't cheats. So he mains three of them, which is it's it's really good. In my honest opinion, the don't cheat it, it's a good card. It doesn't hurt rune rollers, etc. Except for like perfect Loki as much against like Adam. It doesn't do much. It's okay against Hanzo, but. Overall, maining three in the current meta with strangers, I think, is fine because it ends up becoming a one-cost cancel target chant. Yes, I think, I think, I think for per, I think for Persia, absolutely maining them is fine because you yeah. have the claw to yeah, be yeah. able to, to, and it's also a win regalia, so it becomes oh, yeah. like it becomes one like pseudo one-cost cancel a chant draw card. Yeah, it's like, and that's it's great. keen. It's keen sense for for one. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's fantastic. Yeah, for sure. And claw's big. You know, you don't really care about tapping out claw to do that because claw's big bonus is that it's just always giving you that buff oh, for the yeah. friendship counters, Most right? Definitely. So even if you're tapping it down. You're like, well, I'm still getting buffed. Like, who okay. cares? And now, J Brandon is playing for Seal of Lenneth. I think in the problem. sideboard, Jalen is playing Retur the Unsealing of Gods, yeah, so, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Brandon playing four Seals is really the rough main because he just has so much answers for his Claws and Hot yeah, Springs. absolutely. And the Unsealing is super good for Jalen inside, but... He has to get there first. He has to get there first. So The only see. problem about Jalen's list is he's not playing... Heavy beast or four sacred beast package. He's yeah, heavily relied on super beast combo. Yeah, which the is super beast burning rush turbo stuff. Uh, friendship counters, and then try to blow you out with this four cost card. Yeah, which is super good against cards that aren't playing Kaguya. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the, the that problem. It's true. It's like Jalen doesn't really have. He sideboards Erendites. He does, right? yeah. but in the main board. Jalen actually doesn't have nope. a Kagia answer. Nope. Like if a Kagia enters, it's going to cancel it's something. It's going to right? cancel. Yeah, he does. He doesn't even. He's not even playing Blue Wizard, which I thought. I thought that was crazy that he's not playing Blue Wizard in the Stranger deck. I think, why not just play Blue Wizard? Like he's playing Athenia and Green Wizard. I'm like, I don't think Athenia is that good. Just get rid of Athenia, and they, he didn't want to change it. So he's like, he kept Athenia over Blue Wizard, which I thought was kind of. Yeah, so and it's an interesting, interesting choice. Well, the deck only has the deck has eleven stones, yep, and three of them are water sources. Correct. So I understand the idea of maybe keeping the green stranger, mm -hmm. just because, like, yeah, you might get the blue stranger early, but then like, what if you just don't see your blue? That's understandable, right? So it's a, it's a toss up, right? And yeah, that's yeah. and that's I think part of the interesting thing that we've seen come out of the stranger rulers mm -hmm. is how people have been building around them, mm -hmm. because we've seen Melkis decks who will splash like ridiculously uncastable strangers, or oh, like the and forty just, forty machine, and then <laughs> just ne choose to never try to put them into oh. their hand. They're oh, just yeah. like, we're just flipping off a Melgus, that's all we're going to do, which is a really cool way to use that mm -hmm. deck, as opposed to, like, you know, a Faria control or something else we've seen, like Leneth in the past, which was all about just, like, you win by having the most strangers, strangers in your in hand. hand yeah. So, it's been interesting to see, like, what how people have been making use of it, and I do think that Prissia is probably the ruler that 
can rely on its stranger deck the least, especially mm -hmm. when you consider things like the Friendship Counters and the Super Beast Burning Rush. So it's using it as like a tech package is very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. So like in our testing last night with Jalen, uh, we were trying to figure out what's the viable option against this deck, and he, we were testing this thing, putting the 6-6 six, six guy on board, just trying to go wide as quick as possible against that deck, because has no answer going wide. That's true. As long well, as we sideboard wide. perfect Loki. It's true, but he has no way to mill. He can't answer 11-11s with Rick that is <laughs> That is that is true. <laughs> he this can't is, get this a big problem. graveyard. That is, that is the problem of the deck. So the, the old way we used to play the Adam deck, it made sense to mainboard the perfect Lokis, because that deck was... Um, having a lot of very, very cheap cards, and he was using things that were going to die very easily, and yep. we expected them to, like Guinevere, mm -hmm. like um, Acolyte of the Sun, mm -hmm. like, you know, Light of Rays and Revive. Like, we yeah, were yeah. casting a lot more, so we knew that the graveyard was going to get flooded, so that our perfect Lokis, even a perfect Loki for 10 or 11, is still, can, is still really great. Yeah. Um, and, like, Izan we were using Izanamis and stuff like to reanimate, so, like, that made a lot more sense. Um, but now the p the deck has moved away from the... I don't think the, I don't think the deck could afford to keep that stuff in to be able to do what it needs to do against machines. Yeah. yeah. And so thus the perfect Loki is still okay, but it it's not main deckable. Like yeah, it goes yeah, to yeah. sideboard. It's more of a side option. Like the current list that Brandon's playing is very pass response, pass response, pass response, leave mana open, pass response. Sure, I have five will. Hard cast Zeus Alice from hand. Have two open for Kagia, swing yes. for ten. You can't answer that? Cool, I win the next couple yeah. turns. The other thing that I've been presently surprised about with this list is that it does have a nice um a pretty reliable way to get to haikus, oh, which yeah. is interesting, mm -hmm. um, because it because it's not burning as many cards to the yeah. graveyard, right? So usually, like a single chance of tranquility from the hand mm -hmm. is all you, the deck really needs to set up a haiku. Yeah, and yeah. against some decks, like when you hit them with that, it's just over. Yeah, I wasn't able to do that against Jalen last night in testing. Mostly, it was just me uh, hard getting into five stones, hard casting Zeus Alice because he has no response to get rid of Adam Sykard and Grave. I'm like swing for ten, kill one of your guys, gain ten. Cool, pass with two open. They try to get do something, I'll counter, and I just win the next turn. And we're in. And we're starting it up. Jalen choosing to take the draw. I think that's... That's a plus. Yeah, because he's a higher seed, so he gets choice. Now, what's the what's the mentality, um, having you played, the, played uh -huh. with the deck a lot more, what's the mentality in this matchup for taking the draw? So it, it gets the Energize off of Adam's side card, so they won't have the automatic yellow turn one, and they can't turn one Kaguya. So they can't answer your regalia. So this in this area, so Jalen goes second. He can slam his regalia turn one and get tokens and have regalia on board. So I see Brandon's hand. We've got at least one Seal of Lenneth, a Chance of Tranquility, a Kagia, a Light of the Sacred Spirit. It seems pretty good it's, as an open tech card. Um, do you ship the? Zeus? I feel like you ship the Zeus Alice and possibly the Chance of Tranquility. Brandon just using to hard keep five green on turn Seems one. So this is that situation is where, play, like, yeah, yeah the, the the one of Wind Magic Stone. We're going to explore the unknown, see what we can dig into. Wind Resonator. The only Wind Resonators the deck is playing is the Kagia and a couple a couple of stats. Yeah, it's it's very hard for that deck to miss Kagia and explore. It has, like, Forest and that. You're always going to get the Kagia. Oh, for yeah, one. for sure. Absolutely. Forest of the Lost has been doing a bunch of work for this deck. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's, there's the, the burning play. claw. Are we doing um, he should be beast token beast and two token. friendship counters? Yeah, right. that's an optimal play right there. So it gets an eight eight on turn one. Yep. You're just trying to apply as much pressure early turns and get board wide against that deck because they can't answer stuff right Oof. away. Now we're going to play the He's seal. We have to have yeah seal of Lenneth to get rid of the uh, yep the, the target claw. the claw. And now yeah. he can just do another regalia the following turn because he only has green. So it, he's looking pretty good so far. And he's going to be able to play another Regalia, go to four, hit for ten, and then maybe play. Oh yeah, he does have the other. He does have the other one in hand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The aggressive start is probably definitely what the deck wants to do, for sure. Friendship counters at another beast token, so now we're yep. sitting on two ten tens. Yep, so swinging for ten. That's the that's the best play line for the deck. In this matchup. We are going to be sitting on Kagia Will this next turn, but staring down 20 damage yeah. means that Kagia does not yeah. do much. Not really. Yeah, once you get the Regalia on board with two tokens that are 10-10s, it's very hard to do that because now you're like, it forces the Atom player like, well, I could tap out to do this, but he might have more plays next turn and just blows me out. Yeah, for sure. It's really unfortunate that we, that Greenstone turn one really sucks because if it had been another White like Source seal. here, then we could have done Seal plus leave up Kagia, which mm -hmm. puts him in at least a better spot. So he's only taking six. The Kagia can block one of the tokens, get it off board. 
that well, kind he, of stuff? Yeah, well, the, if he had the one white, he could have sealed, but then he still would have only had the white and the white, so he wouldn't be able to cog it. So Jalen still would have put the regalia down and still smacked him for 10. So. Right, yeah, so going down to 2,000 here, taking Jalen down, Brandon down to 1,000. So that was the only oh. problem in our testing. And we're just going to punch through to try to do the last 1,000 damage. So you Kage here, right? But he's yeah, got a second copy in hand, potentially. Yeah, he has Oh, to nope. After the pump, we're going to go ahead and light Sacred his. Light. Sacred yep. Light. That's good. That's a good play. Like blue, so he's yeah. probably not even going to take take the 10. So go down. I'll keep him at 2,000 for so right he, now. Yeah, so now Jalen. Brandon had, well, Jalen has a don't cheat in hand. Oof. And then he doesn't have the stone wheel to cancel. Oh, so that is So he can don't just cheat and just win right here with Claw and the two green wheel he has right there. So Jalen could cancel the light and just win because he can't Kaguya the chant. Or Kaguya the don't cheat. Yeah. So yeah, that's the optimal play. So he's going to tap Regalia, produce the will, don't cheat, cancel Jalen. And now Brandon doesn't have the white will to go ahead and Kaguya, and that should be game. Nope. Oh, he's nope. letting it oh, happen. Okay, okay. cool. That, that Maybe thinking something else is a better play. I guess. That's that's what I would have done. Yeah, I agree. I think I would have done that as well because that would have locked in game. It would have locked in game, game one. That works too. That's actually a play. That's a good play line. So it has to burn the token, but the token doesn't. Oh, he's going. Oh, sorry. he's going. He's, he's get, just going to get the. He's getting. It can immediately use it. Yep. He's going to get flame chicken, play it with the, the hot springs, and then swing for. Seven? Uh, nine, which is still yeah. short. Which is 1,100. Yeah. So take that to 11. I think the better play line would just have been don't cheat the, uh, the light. Oh, he has another burning rush. Oh, yeah. That works too. That also will do it. That does it too, yeah. Well, no, that'd still leave him at 100. He'll be at 100 life because it's, oh, that's it's 19, right. so he'll be at 100. That's still, well, it's still now he's so at a, so much low life. It forces him to cast a Zeus Alice almost, and then, like, but it he, just puts him behind still. Yeah, so we're going to see the Don't Cheat gets stolen. We've got a, oof. He got Turtle. That's pretty good. And he that also Turtle has is a, pretty good, yeah, He has for a sure. Percival, which can fetch him another burn card. Yeah, any kind of burn he, card. He, he at this point in time, rush. you could... At this time, yeah, you could potentially just burning rush and, and just then, win, and then like all you need is to roll a single uh, yeah. with five counters. All you need to roll is a single uh, single burn spell, single copy single. of the burn top. We are oh. sitting on double uh, double white sources now, but at the same time, we're threatening. I mean, we're th yeah. any of these swings are lethal. So like Brandon yeah. needs to be able to answer this somehow, which I don't know because we don't have Kagi in the grave. Like, correct. The one out to here is potentially he has to gain life. So Zeus Alice is the option. He has he can yoga fest, but he can't. He but he also have doesn't have an atom in grave correct, and no yeah. way to get there. I think it was incorrect to keep the Zeus Alice in opener hands. I want to. I would have molded. I, every time in testing, I molded it away. Yeah, I think so as well. I molded it to the bottom just because I always. Unless have to I saw, up. unless of course I saw Dark Alice Adam. Oh, yeah. oh, like yeah. if I saw that plan, I keep that in my hand. Okay, so we have Dark Alice here. Hopefully, we're gonna potentially see an Adam get to grave. We I have spells. I don't see it. Oh, there's a third spell. Oh, there's a chant. Top decks the Adam like a boss. Did not. That's a Bastet. No. Top yeah. decks a Bastet. Goddess of kitties. 72 people hanging out with us for the top eight. There you go. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation, MTG Fanatic. $40. We really appreciate it. Okay. Love the support. Thank you so much. Discarding the Zeus Alice. What is Brandon's the play here? here? Well, actually, so there is a play line here if he has a Misty Woods, potentially. He's tapping a blue. He might have one. Okay, so he there's a Misty, a Misty Woods. Which is good. But then Kage still doesn't. Zeus House still won't trigger because he doesn't have all four. He's trying to get the card, which makes sense. Yeah, I think we're done here. Yeah. He well, been. he can set up double blocker here, right? So, like, he can just, like, take a turn in case... Because he knows the hand is turtle, right? But the problem is the oh, hand is turtle, one. so it just bounces and kills him. Yeah. Like, that's the other problem here, too, is that we just see a bounce. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, okay. Mm, I'm going to go. <laughs> that's fine. I, yeah. I can talk. Would you like to sit in, Stuart? Uh, Stuart's going to join me. Jeremy's going to step away for a second. All right, so so Brandon passed two will open. He has a solid. He has one windstone and blue blue white stone, representing Kagia. Uh, so now Jalen's just gonna play, plays. He searched. 
So he's playing that from hand? He played re he played the regalia from hand because he did he have it, I think. Yeah, he played yeah. from hand. Okay. To get more counters. Brandon lets it resolve. So Brandon can let the resolve. It's fine. Cause he, he has to save the two open for burning rush. And then, like, double blocker is the option here for Brandon. But I just I think the game's over. Like, uh, there's no way Brandon can recover yeah, from 100 life. This game should it technically should have been over last turn. Yeah. But Jalen didn't realize that. I, I, that's what I always said. Oh, you have yeah. no wide open? Cool. Yeah, I don't think he saw that he didn't have wide open. Yeah, like, the don't cheat would have stilled it last turn. They wanted to have gone this far. Yeah. Also, Flash and Turtle just bounce the blocker. Yeah, that also works. There's, There's many just so different many ways to win here. Um, so, uh, got the Stranger. Picked, I think he rolled like a 7 or 2. Uh, oh, we got Red Wizard. That's pretty good, too. Yeah, that just, that just, just takes care of it. That just kind of seals the deal. Yeah, just, I mean, mm -hmm. there were so many different There's ways. There were so many different <laughs> play lines. <laughs> yeah. Jalen just opened the right cards that he needed just to like put two ten ten beasts yeah. early enough and then just like swing, 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 get him low and just seal the deal. Like in testing, we were like, alright Jalen, so you need to go wide double beast token with Regalia. You need to go first. You need to yeah. go second on the draw <laughs> to energize just to be able to put pressure on the Atom deck. Now this side's gonna be interesting for the Atom because it can it has uh, extra Misty Woods, perfect Loki's uh, I'm trying to remember what else it had inside. I just don't have the deck list on. Yeah, me. but uh, Jalen sides in the uh, unsealing gods, unsealing of gods, and then uh, Aaron Dites, yeah. which is good. Um, the I mean, like God is good. Jalen had just such a good opening, uh, like, like Mulligan. Like he kept the regalia, and then Mulligan another and got another regalia, oh, and that's yeah. just perfect because you know it. The play is like he's gonna play it. It's gonna get sealed, and then you just play, you play another one. one. Yeah, and you're good. And then testing, there was games where Jalen opened three regalias on me. I was able to cog you one. He was just like, regalia, regalia. And I was like, that that, that, that 100% works. Yeah, you Jalen get there? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let me see the deck lists for these guys. And I mean, in my opinion, side. unless Jalen completely bricks on Regalia early, uh, there's just no way that yeah. Brandon can there, win. There were some games where Jalen didn't even get a Regalia, and he was just like, turn five, no friendship counters, no nothing. And I was just like, I felt perfect. I wasn't even scared. I was like, all right, cool. Kage, cancel. Play as another Kage, cancel. I was like, all right, I, I think I just win this game. Like, I have five stones. I'm going to hit Alice. You have yeah. an answer? No. All right, this game. Uh, yeah, so Jalen, uh, Brandon has, he's going to sign an extra Light of Sacred Spirit, I believe, and he has three Betrayer uh, returns, which that is will the, help the one blue lot. fog negate. That card is actually really good yeah. against this matchup because it's just going to be able to fog damage. And then he is probably going to sign another, I don't think he'll sign another Bewildering Charm. I think he's going to keep it as is. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to probably just maybe side two Perfect he Loki. He may and side light. in another Bewildering Charm because just seeing him go the token, the token strat. Maps, that could work, yeah. Um, that just, just blows out their early aggression. Next so set. does Betrayer. I mean. Yeah. He's probably going to side the Light, another Bewildering Charm, and then the, uh, what was it, the uh, Betrayer returns in the deck. Just one cost instant answers to the aggro package for the tokens. Uh, and then Jalen, obviously, we think he's going to side an extra... He could side in Magic Boomerangs, I guess, just to bounce his guys, but I don't think he'll. It's going to be on Stealing of the Gods, Aaron Dites. Yeah, I think that's and it. And then probably another don't cheat to go to four in the yep. main. I think that was it. Yeah, that seems like the optimal size like, for both. Uh, looking at his sideboard. The question is, will Brandon take the draw or the pass? No, I think um, Brandon's going to take the Take the, the draw. energize? Yeah. yeah. I think the optimal play he should 100%. take. 100%. Knowing these guys, these guys are the friends in real life. They go back way back. So they know their play styles. They know what like their mindset is when they're playing each other, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but the best, the funny thing about uh, this tournament so far is Brandon came in saying, "I'm O T O T K turn two machines is the best deck." Changed my mind, and then 
the day of, he got beat up by Adam. He's like, okay, Adam's a deck to play. And during the event, he was running around trying to find all the cards for this deck, <laughs> borrowing them from everybody just to build the Adam deck for the event. That was the funniest part of the day. And then his deck list was like, just wrote really quick, not even the right names for the cards. Like, was it Beset, Goddess of the Kitties, and then like, Chant of Tranquility. <laughs> like, Jesus. just like the craziest deck name, like, and every, this entire deck list. And then the cool thing about the Prissia deck Jalen has, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Tober, helped him make the deck. And uh, I think that's what he named the deck, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Tober, or the Ken Tober theory. Ooh. So the moles, Jalen got Z double. Zuquays. Yeah, Zuquays. The double flame chicken, and then uh, Zuquays, I call him flame chicken, sorry. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then Brandon cheat. took the energize like we thought he would. Yeah. He got uh, one regalia off the top. Didn't open up green. And that's the bad stone whiff. Yeah. But if he did side in, like, the Betrayers and Bewildering Charms mm -hmm. and he has them in hand, I didn't see his hand. Um, so I see a light in Misty pain. Woods. Oh, that's the reveal. He got all, yeah, he got a Misty Woods. It looked like he had one light of Sacred Spirit. He has Zeus Alice off the top. It's kind of bad. So, what's it? That card? I can't see the last blue card. Yeah, it might be another Misty. One's Regalia. One's Regalia, yep. Straight play line. Just the same thing. Yep. That was an Aaron Dite, I think? It looked like it, yeah. Uh, now he has a Kage Will open. And uh, I think he would just pass this turn. I think that's Betrayer returns. That last, that blue card I can't see. It might be. This with Brandon, he flicks his card so fast, he keeps him so close, it's just kind of hard to see his hand. Oh, Jalen drew a Hulong, I think, off the top. Hulong, yeah. Yeah, you got a Hulong off the top. So he has double Jukwe, Hulong, Regalia, don't cheat. Well, I know you miss Ken. Supposedly, I hear rumors he might come back to force a will, so... We just don't know what tournament he'll show up to. Uh, another regalia. Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad play. Just trying to bait out the Kage. To oh, leaving the blue open for the Erendite to say, hey, you cancel it. I'll Erendite your Kage. That seems pretty strong. Yeah. And now, if he Kage is it, he's still going to get damage through, which is like it becomes a. 10-10 beater, and he's going to get another 10-10 on board, which is pretty strong against the Adam deck. No, and Brandon's logic, he's trying to calculate what plays and where his values are now. Oh, that's and that's good. a resolve. That makes sense. So, took 10? Yeah, he took 10. Did he? I thought he attacked before he played the Regalia. Did he? Yeah. So he only took 8. So 8? Yeah. Okay, so he's at 32. 32. There you go. One, one, one less zero. So I think we enter, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you do all that type. So. <laughs> I'll just sit here and talk. God, Brandon, show us your hand. <laughs> Can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. what I thought too. It does have the seal. That seal feels really good here because he he's already spent like two regalia. He like did. They just yeah. spend the one, and then this is the other one. I mean, the chances he has a third one are pretty slim. Yeah, now he's in top deck mode. If he gets unsealing God, it seems pretty solid. Yeah. And a beset. Oh, oh, never mind. That, never mind. That <laughs> works. Yeah, that's gonna perma lock that. Unless he had an Erendite, but I don't think if he had Erendite, I would have just canceled the beset in her. Yeah. But now, Brendan was so afraid of the Erendite last turn. Now he's like, now oh, he's he, like, oh, there's no Erendite, right, so that's he pretty good. Doesn't have it, so. Unless he's bluffing to save the Erendite for the Kaguya. Maybe uh, mindset could be. Mind games. That's all Force of Will is. Anime anime card game with mind games. Uh what 
rune is that? The uh, that's light of the light of the uh, <clears throat> the moon one, the okay. free cost yellow one. They can't be targeted. That's not whispers, right? No. Okay. It doesn't look like it. No, it looks like the free rune. Discard the hand size. Yeah, because yeah, he had tapped the white for seal and then beset. Yeah. Okay, so no, he just has that's like not very sticks. good. Oh, he got triple blue green stones. Oof. It's not good at all. He did well, get the hot springs though. So yeah, that, that that's good. That's gonna help a little bit. Yeah. Jalen still does have six six beaters on board, which is pretty pretty good. Gets around light of the sacred spirit. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't answer betrayer though. Question is, do you think um, Brandon sided in those perfect Lokis? It's hard to say. I think the perfect Lokis are better against the Machine Mirror because you don't need as many cards. Mm -hmm. I think he just sides in more one-cost chant removal Answers, spells. Yeah. Like I think that's the optimal play line for him. Uh, I did that in testing. I was never able to get a graveyard big enough to answer the perfect the Prissy list. Like I just I couldn't kill anything. Um, I don't think he sided them in. He's deciding if he wants to play the Hyunglong. Mm, play Hyunglong here. Yeah. Yeah, Hyunglong plays right. Yeah, I think right. the Hyunglong saved the blue for the Arendite. Um You can always flash in chicken. Yeah. Yeah, Hyunglong play, get here. Or get flash the in the um, blue guy. Yeah. I think that was the best play yeah. line. So yeah. There you go. There's the Arendite. Ooh, chicken off the top. That's, That's actually pretty good. good. I would do two to the Kaguya. He, he could flash in something so he could burn. So am I, I think I think he would just do two to Kaguya, which forces Brandon to block. So if he does block, his Kaguya will die. But then it triggers his force. That's the only other problem. That's what Beset's a 4-4, four four, right? Yeah, but then the other one in his hand can kill the Beset mm. when he goes to block. So I think he did two. He did, he did the two to the Kaguya. He's taking six here. He's taking 11. Those are six. Oh, six. Yeah, there's no regal. Yeah, yeah. He's taking, he's taking, taking six. So he's taking 12. Yep. So is that 2,000? Yeah. No blocks. Uh, so uh, he can't flash in. He can flash in bird, but it'll only shoot for 400 because it doesn't check for Hung Long because it only checks for four Sacred Beast. Yeah. The trade. Yep, that's mm -hmm. pretty that's a pretty good trade. But then the only problem now is that Brandon has forced online to get Kage back from grave. Uh, what's chicken stats? 4-4. Four, 4-4? Four. Four, four? Okay, he took the 4 from the chicken. The second chicken. So it should be at, uh, 16. Oh, just respond to the inner of the bird? Yeah. He could have done that. That probably would have been an optimal play line, too. Like, bird, uh, bird enter, respond or enter before trigger, play another bird, trigger, check two both that each are shooting for 400 apiece. Yeah, that's what I was thinking he would do is hit, hit both of them. Hit yeah. the Beset and the Kaki. Jalen's still looking pretty favorable right now because he has the Dote Cheat in hand when yeah. for the Yokai Fest. So, like, yeah. he feels super comfortable right now. The board is big. Brandon's now on the back pedal. He, I mean, even without the claw, it's like. It's like my board's huge. There's six wide. sixes. Yeah. Right. That's the only problem with the Adam deck. If you go wide, think of it as like Gil. Any deck that went wide against Gil, I just struggled. Yeah. And this Hyonglong is actually getting pretty yeah. beefy, too. He's like. He's a 7-7 seven, seven seven right seven now. now. He's go Did he draw another Zuquay? Uh, Flame Chicken? Uh, I didn't see. If he did, that just kind of like seals the deal almost. Like yeah. I mean, that just... They go to block with the set. Yeah. I mean, with four mana here, I think he has Betrayer. I think he has Light of the Sacred Spirit. Yeah, I know he has Light. I think he might have Betrayer. I, he ha I know he has, he has two for the Kage and Grave. 
So he has technically two wills. So if he has the Kage to cancel anything he plays, he'll cancel it. And then he has two one spell or cost removal spells technically to negate yeah, damage. A betrayer and, here. You know, light doesn't do anything. So it's just, yeah, Betrayer is the optimal play to neg two attacks, the fog for a turn. He took the six and he's taking another six. Oh, okay. Yeah, he took 12. Okay, so he's at 400. Uh, did Hung, uh, did Jalen shuffle after Hung Long effect? Do you know if he shuffled at all? He did. He didn't shuffle. No, he didn't. He just, it was first one flipped was the... Oh, that's right. It was the first one. Of, it was first one flipped, but I think he's still supposed to he's shuffle. He's supposed to shuffle. Yeah. Well, 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 well. So, Jalen with Hung Long, and he revealed the top card chicken, but he didn't shuffle his deck afterwards. Yeah, yes. you're supposed to shuffle. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah. 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 What was this? this? Is all the same turn still? So like he just drew. He just drew that. He didn't draw an extra card off that. He yeah. just revealed the top card. They yeah. just got to shuffle his deck. Yeah, they just got to shuffle his deck because he didn't draw any extra cards after that. So he's at 400, right? Not 40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it even possible to be at 40? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just hung long and then got the chicken and that was all he did. Or was that the turn before? It was the turn before oh, okay. he did that, but yeah, it didn't really change. I, it too didn't much. change anything because it was the top card, but yeah, yeah, it's those. Yeah. It was the top card, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what it. I'm just, thanks, chat. Yeah, thanks, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we listened to Steven. Yeah. He says, he says shuffle the rest into your deck? Yeah. yeah. There was nothing, there was nothing right. else so to right. shuffle. I think it was yeah. fine, but yeah. yeah. Two. two. Jalen got game one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's two. Turtles. Turtle so in the So you played turn. Betrayer on the. Um, on the. Uh, on uh, Zhukui? No, the Huanglong. The Honglong, okay. So, because he blocked with the Beset from the oh. for the chicken, now he's going to bounce his own chicken back to his hand to play it, to deal four. Yeah. He's going to crack this. Kagia. Yep. He has... Um, unsealing. Oh, he has unsealing the gods. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, the the, the yeah. sealing scrolls. The seal's gone now, though. Yeah. So, he's got another turn here. I was thinking he could have, he should have unsealing the gods, the forest to force him to Kaguya play, and then he could have done all the different things differently. That would have been the optimal play line for uh, for the Prisia deck, just to force him to get rid of the forest. And then he's just like, okay, here's another seal. Well, he does. Well, he has unsealing the gods, which is good still, so he can get his chicken back the next turn. Yeah. Or I keep saying chicken, as <laughs> you quite. Fire chicken. Fire chicken. Weren't you playing a testing when there was like three of those against you and you just like got upset about it? There was three of the, the flame chickens on board? In testing? Yeah. Was that an online? Oh, no. I think that was Steven. That was Steven? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I was playing Prisia and I it just like dropped like three chickens that were buffed. And, and they're all like 10-10s. Ten ten that makes sense. I think he just he quit after that. <laughs> Arise the chicken. Yes, Steven. Arise the mighty flame chicken. <laughs> so he's, uh... So Hong Bewildering Wong. Charmed. His Kaguya. Yeah. Bewildering Charmed the Kaguya back to hand. Oh, there's the ceiling. Oh, no, he Bewildering Charms the token. Yeah. yeah. So got rid of the token. He's going to go ahead and unsealing scroll that... 
Brandon now does have, he has a Kage in hand still. Yeah. Swing for four. There's the other nag. And there's the other nag, yep. The card's just so coming he in could, clutch there. Yeah, he could cancel it, but then it's just... I mean, he gets a draw. No, he doesn't have a draw because he doesn't have a regalia. Yeah, I mean, he can cancel it. And then at this point, uh, he'd yeah. have to throw in a chump. Yeah, I mean, Jalen could judge here, which is good. It puts a 7-7 on board that could swing, and now it forces him to play Kaguya to do the trade. Yep. So Jalen, Brandon now has to play Kaguya just to survive to the following next turn. Unless he has an, oh, yeah, another, another betrayer. betrayer. Wow. God. Neg the attack. That works. But what does he answer to God's art next turn? Like, Jalen just God's arts the next turn. And that's the play line. Unless he's going to trade his Kaguya into his Prisia, which I think he would have to do. Yeah. Because he does. He still doesn't have Adam Sycard engraved. Right? I didn't see him get a no, single. Yeah, so there's no way for him, him to gain life at all other than gain eight. So he's going to yeah, slam into Prisia, which is which is like what he has to do. Or yeah. he just dies. He cannot have God's art go off. I think he's going to try to seal Oblineth again. But, but Jalen uh, has, has this, another, uh, another, another unsealing. unsealing the gods in hand. Ooh, whoa. that's going to get him another sacred well, piece, too. I know that uh, Brandon has Kagi in hand still. He has another one that I saw. Right. So it should answer the ceiling of the gods card. Yeah, Jalen's uh, gassing out here. Yeah, that was the only problem with this, that, that deck. It just gasses out a lot really fast because it doesn't have a lot of draw. Oh, he has Super a burning rush, piece? though. Burning rush. I would tempt to. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> tempt the uh, play Unsealing the Gods yeah, on the my bait out the yeah. bait it out. Oh, man. God. Some juicy plays here. Yes. Neg the damage. Yep, he's going to neg the damage. That's a play. And then Unsealing the God for still Lineth. And then he's going to have to Kagi it. If he lets that resolve. Yep, he's going to have to Kagi this. Yep, and then you Beast Rush. Get five. Pray to RNG oh. God to get one burn one, spell. One burn. <laughs> one burn is all you need. But he still does he have a second Kage though in his hand though because he still has I a little I representing it. I don't think so. I don't think he does. I would ha I would say Jalen just has to go for throat. Like I would just go for throat here. You gotta have. You have, you just have go to. for it. Just go for it. <laughs> just yeah. Do it. Play, play the God. Roll those dice, boy. You're in Vegas. You roll those dice. Does he have it? No. No, he doesn't have oh. it. Oh. Oh, he get. Oh, that's a whispers though. So he has eight. Oh, does he just does add it. eight on a brand? Oh, okay, so it wasn't the yeah. Okay. So add the eight. I, I didn't. Yeah, I was wondering if it was a whispers. I was wondering. Well, he, he didn't have the wolf though. That's what I was confused. I think he cast it like a couple turns. Uh, turns ago. That. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and we missed it. All right. So, so it should be a twelve. It should be a twelve. Just add eight. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense to why he took all yeah. that <laughs> that damage. Okay. So these tokens get swiftness though, right? Yes, they, they become six sixes with haste. Okay. And I, I believe both his betrayer returns are gone. Both gone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, give me some uh, give me some luck here. Whew. Knowing Jalen, he, ro he re-rolls. That's one yep. one burn? Yep. He, need, he, rolled, he rolled three burn, I think. So that's it, I think. Let me just verify. I think Jalen won. But uh, let me go check real quick. Yeah. I don't know. I just saw them roll like six dice and just like shake hands. How'd you Gengo? Uh, who'd you play against? Oh, wow. Mm. 
They were both really too tall for this camera. <laughs> I just got to slouch down a bit like this. Oh, there you go. So th th that was the play line we were testing with Jalen last night against Adam Deck. He had to uh, take the Energize to go Regalia to put the token and then hopefully Regalia again to get another token. Then you have 10 tens on board. Just push face as quick as possible because when right. you're pushing face quick as possible, it puts the Adam player on back foot. So now it's like I have to gain life. I have to stabilize. But I have to leave Will open for Kage. And then right. that was what Jalen legit just turned it sideways. Yeah, just the, the go wide token strategy is just so good against that deck. Yeah. The uh, in Super Burning Rush, it's like, that card is just insane. That card just does so much for four. Yeah, I think a lot of people just underrated that card just because of the random effects. Oh, yeah. But even when you have, when you have like, at least eight counters, you're going to at least get three guys and burn for ten. Like, mm -hmm. that's over 20,000 damage in one turn. It's just insane. And if you have yeah. two in hand, you ready stones and cast another one. <laughs> and the only real answer to that card is Kaguya. Like, yeah, and then uh, uh, and don't cheat. But a lot of the restrained decks don't even maining don't cheats. Yeah, I mean Liz also. Oh Liz, yeah, 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 yeah. Liz is Liz, Liz, is, Liz is an option. Answer. Um, Alka team, woo woo Prisia wins. Other game updates. Uh, so two Prisias are in top four right now. Yeah, uh, Mike. Mike Nolan won. Jalen won. Uh, Machina, Derek, and Derek. The two machines are duking it out. Machina's playing the Hanzo deck. Uh, I think Cal might have won against the Melgus deck, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it looks like Cal won. Mich oh, no, he lost. Mel right, oh, Melgus Melgus so it's, Mel it's Melgus, it's double Prisia. Prisia okay, so, so, uh, so technically three stranger decks in top four. Okay, so Makita is up one game, though, against the Hanzo deck. It's potentially just going to be strangers. It should be just a stranger top four. So yeah, future is now, old man. <laughs> future, yeah. So <laughs> divinity rulers are kind of maybe phasing out. Um, it's hard to say. I think there there are better divinity rulers that are better in the certain matchups. Um, but that's just me saying that. So. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> perfect Loki still can handle. Oh yeah, I mean, mean like the go wide strategy still plays seal Lineth. Yeah. And on top of that, yeah, like have me, a Loki. Me and you were on the perfect Loki deck, and. It sucked because we all the Lokis fought each other like yeah. in the first two rounds, yeah. and we were all like the second table. Like we were all like we all had to we all X twos and we had to like with the highest X twos. We all fought each other. But the problem is there was X one ones that are higher than us, so they got yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like all the Melkus players, or the the Prisia players. I don't think any of the Prisia players played any Lokis or anything. They just got to farm Melkuses. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. But overall, this was a pretty—it was a pretty good tournament this weekend. Uh, pretty good diversity, good playing field. Uh, I kind of—I I think what me and Stuart were talking about, we were saying like this is kind of like pre-mini tournament. We kind of see what the new stranger decks are going to do, like where Prissy establishes herself, where either Machin is going to be OT uh, turn two kill, or it's going to be some crazy big old swing forty footer giant machine deck. Um, but uh, I don't know. Like it's the field is pretty wide. Um, we know that Prissy is pretty good. Yeah, Prissy is pretty good. Yeah. But I think now that people are kind of like aware of what she can do, mm -hmm. you know, maybe people start just respecting, respecting it, respecting like it. making sure, like, oh, they play four of these cards that say I get a ton of value. I, <laughs> I, I actually think, um, like Val's a, probably a sweet meta call for um, oh yeah, Prissy, mm -hmm. especially she's going wide. She uh, Val has a lot of answers to that like deck. Um, yeah, gets uh, to play perfect Loki. Yeah, Dil uh, Dylan Hunt did lose to Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking to Mike about that game. Mike was he Dylan's list is just straight aggro kind of with like the beast package and stuff. Mike's the same, but he has more responsive cards in his in his main more than uh, Dylan did. Mm -hmm. So he's just able to just like play guys, response, answer your guys, and just turn sideways. So uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, Stuart. You were talking about uh, Val. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, she's just kind of meant to be like the opposer to a Prisia deck like which makes sense yeah bounce I mean, she tokens gets, she yeah. gets like a uh, bounce stuff she gets betrayer returns mm -hmm. she gets a lot of things that just straight up kill your stuff um she gets uh like really neat strangers like mm -hmm. loki of the end like just a straight oh, up yeah. board wipe when you went wide and i'm just like slam this for like two mm -hmm. mana three mm -hmm. mana 
Um, and plus, he also runs the three cost wander black blue dark elves. Name a cost. Right, right. You just yeah. like sack all your sacred beasts or oh, yeah. you sack oh, all your tokens yeah. or whatever. Oh yeah, it's just crazy. And it, the, the, I think the deck is good. It's just hard to find how the deck will be designed right now. It's hard for the win con. There's not really yeah. a win con for that deck. It's either you play Gorgons or some form of right. machines. I think Gorgons are going to be the win con for that deck, but okay. you need to figure the numbers out right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably just control, finish with Gorgons, yep, something Rakan, like that. Yeah, Gorgon, you Ryan. You said Gorgons might not be good. Um, <laughs> so I think that's solid. I think it's solid in a meta with Prisia. Yeah. Um, just like that kind of stuff. I think it's pretty good. The... Uh, I just the, the Gorgons are interesting. Um, I don't think they do enough for three three. It's sort of like one one like blanks a card, one rests a card, doesn't recover, and the other one pumps. Uh, what does I forget? What does um, Medusa do again? Uh, she sends anything that's blocked her, or she blocks oh, okay. to the bottom of the deck. I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think it. Does, she just gets in no matter what. It just what. gets in. Yeah. Um, I think if you play like. Like a couple of those that that spell like gets them back to back because they buff. Oh them. yeah, you just stack them and they right. get permanent and four, perma four permanent uh, buffs, which is pretty see, good. You can see that happening. You want to talk? Oh, your phone! Oh, I was like, <laughs> oh, I was like, what? You want the headset, Cal? Sure. You want to say something? <laughs> okay. Ah. Mm. I mean, you're. Mm. I was about to say, wait, Cal, you're in top four. Wait, oh, wait, that's light. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're supposed to beat the Melgus deck, Cal. You know America's red. Now we're going to see tons of more Melgus in Minnesota. It's like it's like the new Kirk. Yeah. Ugh. Like purgatory, fire, elemental ball on the grave, and then like reanimate it back with a lave to get back in there for 12. <laughs> that's not the list playing the 40-40, yeah. right? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's playing the 40-40. Like, they only play the 40-40 golem when they judge to hopefully put into play, and then it has haste. <laughs> and then they're running four purgatory to put an elemental ball lightning in the graveyard and res it with lave when you're resting your lave. So it's an interesting list. Um, and it's running two main board Battle of the Moonlights, which is uh, one of those cards that, like, I, I thought it was good, but I didn't think it would be oh, that. Oh, the card. final battle card. Oh, the yeah. final battle for yeah. red. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, that card just does a lot for, like, nothing. Yeah. Honestly, thought about putting that into the the Loki list. Loki list, but you it's know? just double red. Like it's yeah, just, it's but just double it's red. Still, just you know, it helps. I can, it can help. Yeah, um, I just feel like you're diluting the deck just way too much if you're just putting that many colors in the deck because you like you usually want to keep it blue black and then splash yellow yeah. just for certain answers. An certain answers. Yeah, I can't speak right now. Maybe next. Set, I mean, we're gonna be getting like a. Red, the, blue? The red, blue stones? Yeah. yeah. We're getting red, blue, and uh, was it red, blue? Were you black, white? Black. Oh, that, that'll help so much. Yeah, we're, I, well, I can't remember. Jeremy said we're getting two dual. We're getting black, black, blue, red, and I think he said we're getting... Light green. Light green. Uh, wait, no, which one? Light green? Light green's already out, isn't it? No. Oh, no. So we're light green and blue, red are in the next set. We don't know if black, white will be in there, because, well, Rizard should be in the next set, that I think. He, I think he might be black. Black, white? Green. Oh, Dara, uh, Machine's Dara, got it. Dara so, Dara. Hanzo, so there's no Divinity Rulers in top four. It's all Strangers currently. So, it's it's Double Prisia, Machines, and a Melgus. So, we're waiting for... Uh, yeah, you got it. So, yeah. Hello, as I peek my head in here, everybody. So, we are waiting for a couple of the top eight players to get back so we can take our top eight picture because you know, we want to get the people who lost in their top eight get their picture so they can go do other stuff rather than hang around. Yep. So, we're taking a little bit of a break. Uh, and then we're going to have. Dang it. I'll stop the hall. Uh, and then we're going to go into the next. Uh, let's go into top four, which yep. will be uh, Mike Nolan versus um, the Melgus player, who I can't remember his name and I feel bad about it. Scott. Scott. Scott versus Mike. It'll well, be no, Prisia versus Scott, Melgus. Scott, what was Hanzo, wasn't he? No, that was Kyle. Oh, it was Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Scott with Melgus playing against Mike with uh, four Sacred Beasts. So we're going to push to a quick break. Uh, we'll be on the in-between screen. Um, we'll see you guys here as soon as we get back. So thank you guys so much. Yep.
All righty. Are you, are you, are you going to show me how to change the life totals? Okay, cool. <laughs> Yep. And it's safe. That's all. Cool. Don't worry about it. Some you'll, you'll worry about that. Cool. Cool. All right. Oh, well, they can hear us. Oh, oh no, boy. Well, oh no. Stop talking crap then. Yes. Yes, we can hear each yep. other. We can hear each other just fine. Oh. All right. Top greetings, four. ladies and gentlemen. You have uh, me, Brandon Vremont, and uh, Cal Tuma here to commentate a top four match versus uh, Melgus and Prisia. Yeah. Yeah, so how do you feel about this matchup going into it, Cal? Who do you think is favored initially? The the Prissia deck, I believe, was punishing a lot of the Malgus decks. I did Swiss. see a lot of that. So this deck is a little bit different than the one that you just saw me get clapped by last round. But um, mm -hmm. Mike says that he beat two Malguses in Swiss, and Jalen also beat two Malguses in Swiss. So um, my understanding is that it's a extremely favored matchup. Uh, but, of course, the Malgus deck is... is it's pretty explosive. random, exactly. Like it can just randomly kill you out of nowhere. And uh, the Prissy deck is pretty low interaction in terms of things that can deal with that. I mean, they really yeah. want to spend the first couple turns Though it's getting interesting. friendship. One, one of the, yeah, no, I'm, I'm interrupting you, don't worry. No, but uh, there, there's a lot of interesting... The, the Melgus deck that Gorge is playing, he's actually playing a very non-interactive deck. He has no bloody breaks in his entire deck. Sure, sure. He, he's he just bollocks to the walls aggro, right? Very, very much so. Okay. Whereas, I haven't seen Mike's list for a hot minute, so I don't remember exactly what. But he's got stuff like Burning Rush. He's got stuff to push damage through and <clears> make <throat> removal happen. And the biggest the biggest tool that Mike has that Scott doesn't is the Yogg-Saron's Puzzle Box spell. The title of which I never remember the full title of. Super Burning East. Yeah, 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 yeah. The what, four whatever. drop one. Yeah, that and one. the Melgus actually cannot interact with that. And if that gets cast for like five or six mana, for five or six uh, friendship counters, yeah. then it basically just says you win the game. Al almost and always. Like you have to roll really badly in order to not win the game right there and then. Yeah, so this, sh this should be kind of fun. I imagine we won't be sitting here for very long, so. That, that's kind of what I would presume as well. Uh, it's been a lot of top of uh, of upsets in top in the first round of top eights. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it speaks to this being a pretty fun format to play in at yeah. least over here today. Um, I didn't feel like any matchups were like over ninety percent. You know, like we've mm -hmm. seen in the past with with some with some matchups. So uh, there, there's a lot of skill representation here. A lot of ways to misplay. A lot of absolutely. Um, a lot of really interesting stuff, and it makes our job easier because there's more to talk about. That's true. It yeah. is always nice to actually have something to talk about, as opposed to commentating Gil versus Lucifer games where you just kind of sit there for a while. I huh? have to. You have to fill space with yeah something. Cool. Yeah. So while while the players are reviewing their decks here, um, let's kind of talk about that meta we were just we were just alluding to. Absolutely. Uh, what do you, What do you think is good here? Um, sort of. Besides the Prissy and Melgus we're seeing right now, like what else can we uh, can we expect going into Minneapolis? You think Minneapolis, I think, is going to be a completely different ball game. Yeah, and that's a lot of it is that there's going to be two two months, three months almost in between here and that event actually happening. Yeah, which for me mostly says that that's going to allow the control decks to adapt to figure out how to beat the Prissias. Malchuses, sure. the Machinas. Sure. What, so what's a control deck to you? Are you talking about like the Kagiya deck? Yes. The uh, Loki decks? Yeah. The, um... Force of Will control, where okay. it's more of a tempo deck because sure. uh, hard control is a little harder. But the Val deck is, has gasoline too. A lot of the Val decks we were testing could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with decks like Machines. The problem was just that your games took about 50 minutes because you have like two win cons in your whole deck. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and so that was a struggle that we were trying to figure out where to put win cons in. And but so hey, that's if, you're, something if, you're, if your game takes 50 minutes to win, you're still winning. You still that's, win. That's fine, we'll take that. But um, yeah, I, I sort of agree with that assessment. I, I think that a lot of the control decks coming in here, especially mm -hmm. if you're looking at the sideboards, yeah. really were not prepared for, for what was going to be here. I don't think anyone would have expected the 10 Melguses that showed up. I mean, Melgus no. was... Uh, and barely yeah. on my radar at all, and yet, yeah, and absolutely. we're looking at one in quarterfinals right now. So, um, mm -hmm. semifinals yeah. rather. Stuff with with like Melgus and stuff, and you know, I'm pretty sure it's been said said on the stream before this point that you know, there's the question of who was able to actually like acquire the cards in order to play these sure, decks. Sure, sure, sure. And Melgus is one of those things where it's like going into a blind meta where you're not expecting very much. You know, this deck is explosive, and you know that they're going to be either teching for other decks mm -hmm. and you can just kind of skirt around them or 
you are an explosive aggro deck. Sometimes you just flip on turn three and win the game. Like, right. Some, sometimes that's just how life happens. Uh, All right, so it looks like we're going to get into the game here. It looks like the Prissia player is on the draw with an Energize. Yep. Um, which, which I'm told that's what they would prefer to be. I, I so. think definitely against the Malgus deck because... The, you don't want them to be aggressing board state earlier yeah. than you. You don't want them to be going turn one Levitine. Right. You want to go turn one Claw. You want to go turn one Claw, and here's I, a token, go ahead. I believe it was Mike's choice, right? Mike was yes. higher seed? Okay. Mike, Mike would have right. been higher seed. Perfect. Scott was uh, seventh seed, okay. I believe. Good. Then, yes, that we can def stay for certain. That's what the Persia wants, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause, All right. Because Regalia on one, it's mana ramp. It's getting you resources that you need. It gets you creatures Ooh, uh, most of the time. That was a full mole from the Melgus, and I don't see a Levitine in the hand. I didn't either. That's so. not fun for them. They, um, We have a Percival to maybe find it, though, so let's go ahead and, yep. and, and dig here a little bit. Really hoping for that Lave. Absolutely. Uh, we got Ooh, a Shakti. Shakti, at least it gets a hit. Well, you um, at least have a hit, and you get yeah, the Percival. Yeah, get the other here. one. Get he, yeah, he's, you can tell that he really wants that Levitine. This this is a rough start. Yeah, really, uh, really not going to punish the Persia here anytime soon. Yeah, um, really like lets the Persia get the friendship mm -hmm. counters, get Sisse online, um, and uh, build up for a win. So we're we're really off to a good good start for Persia. Yep. Starts with getting the Zuque, which makes sense. Yeah, because um, I think generally Mike's plan here is going to be, I'm going to both aggress board to both build a board state but also you know you want to prevent right. as much damage as you can against the against the malgus deck because again every life point is pretty valuable mm -hmm. against an aggro deck and that zuque or that uh turtle turtle the turtle turtle just says bounce get kill that seven one that's about to punch me in the face and then you have well it eight. also just blocks I infinitely right yeah so it, it blocks pretty much infinitely and it's big and chunky so yeah so it, it doesn't die when it blocks it doesn't take damage um which which is relevant in this kind of a matchup. It looks like I didn't. It looks. Malgus getting in for two. Yeah, I think it's other player, right? Oh yeah. There we go. Yep. I agree. All right, so now we are uh, looking for oh, Levitine again. If oh my goodness, is he just not seeing it? Where oh my god. That is so unlucky. Where are his Levitines? He did a full mole. You imagine he probably keeps the Levitines. Oh, and absolutely. then he's now looked at, with those five cards, plus the two Percivals, plus two draw steps, he has looked at 18 cards and not and found and not Levitine. Seen a Levitine. It's, it's one of those things that just happens sometimes. Well, he gets another He's got to see it here. There's no way it this misses, right? There's if this misses, he Firefox, has permission to turn Firefox. the table over. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. We are folks, we are up to twenty three cards deep into the deck without seeing one copy of Levitine. That's that's rough. Oh, does he? I didn't see the Lave. Lars says he's got Lave already, if that's Lars the case. Lars says he has then, Lave uh, already. I'm then ignore all that. I didn't quite see it. I didn't either, but I'm also now questioning why he's not playing oh, it then. Uh, well, Anywho. on the turn two, he just called his second stone, so he yeah. kind of probably maybe wants to play it and then judge for free. Possibly. But we get another uh, Hot Springs episode down for for Mike. He's going to grab a Queen Long. Yep. Worm? Dragon? Snake? I don't yep. know. That guy. I cannot pronounce any of the names of the Forsaken Beasts, so I just kind of... Oh, and that puts the third counter on it for the mole. Oh, yeah. The Sisses are now online, and this is going to go find a... Uh, a that. Now... Um, on that note, though, the Melgus turn is about to go off. If he does actually have Levitine, then he can recover Levitine, Judge, um, you know, attack in with yeah. everything, and then uh, and God's Art, whatever the turtle tries to bounce, and then get two strangers. And, and this could be mm -hmm. pretty brutal. Um, True. But then Mike has a turtle that can block anything scary. Because it, sure, uh, yeah. it prevents the first damage when it blocks? Is that what the turtle does? I think so. I believe that's how that works. Prevent the next damage that would be dealt to it. So, we get a recovery from Scott, and he's got an untapped Malgus. So... Yeah, we'll see where this goes. Come, tries, wants to come in first. Yeah. It's reasonable to just throw this mole here. Yeah, um... 
there's an argument for judging here just in case he gets um, the stranger that when things die does two to the opponent. And if yeah. that's the stranger he gets, he'd really ha rather have that on the board first. Yeah, Zazel um, is one of the best. Is just a well, that might not actually be true stranger. because if if he does get that stranger, then he'll probably the Sisei will probably bounce the um uh that that because it costs two, so he could uh, Sisei for um the the snake one and then yep. Sisei for the bounce and bounce it. Yep. Yeah, it does cost two, so you could do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, Lars is right. You can also ping the turtle to play around the shield, the damage shield. But it looks like yeah. we're going to regardless get in for four more damage. We have to imagine the um, uh, the Percival Mogus. probably went north to the face too. So I'm yeah. guessing that he. That so there is that Levitine there. Okay, so we did find the Levitine. Energize Regalia Break. That's not actually going to do much here. Well, well it, it, depends, strip swiftness. It, it, it depends on what uh, Scott declared off of the Enter Trigger on Lave Team. Cause yeah, we, we really should get an Enter Trigger declaration before yeah. he's doing this, so hopefully he said what he was doing. Yeah. Because it would be... Because if he declares Judgment on Malgus, there's no reason to not... Like, Judgment in a token or Judgment in Wait, five did he days. not... Did he not produce mana? Okay, he did. Good. Okay, so he produced mana. The problem is I don't know what he did with the other mode. He uh, sometimes does go face with the Levitine, so that's always an The adventure. mode looks like it was get a 7-1. And Judgment, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's see what Melgus gets. And keep in mind that those Sisses are going to be able to bounce a 2-drop with uh, the Snake and the Turtle, so yep. we'll see what we can get here. Um, all right, what's it going to be, Cal? I'm looking at a gear goal. Nope, it's a Kuchelin. All right, okay. so that looks like a Kuchelin, I believe, uh -huh. which is definitely not online right now. So, oh, okay. He is going to beca fascinating because of the fact that you didn't get an Azazel. Now it's right. just let's just fling this turtle into play and bounce the seven one. Sure. So now he's going to use that God's art. Yep. God's Art off the token, draw yep. two cards, and, and then gets uh, another, get another stranger. stranger. All right, so if Mike if Mike gets this through this turn, and then can answer, uh, and can play his own, well, it's kind of awkward to play your Regalia as Persia next turn. Ooh, there's a Zazel. There's an Azazel, so that could be yeah. some damage going to places because now the Kuchlin can also swing. Yeah. Um. Um, okay. Yeah, so now we, we're we almost certainly not pushing 32 here, but we uh, are going to get a lot and have a board that's not going to be very easy for Percy to crack back and deal with. He has a Quinglong that can come in and block. Mm -hmm. He has the turtle, which could still just block anyway. Yeah. Turtle can block. I don't know what he's doing with block. that Melgus. It doesn't have swiftness. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, so he can't push that damage yeah. through, I don't think. He can Kuchelin for 10, he can Azazel for 7, and then he can banish the two Percivals to face for 8 more damage. That's not lethal, so. Yeah, I mean, and, and all of that is without anything blocking, which is. Yeah, which is. Uh, doesn't a, look like that's happening. A pretty difficult thing to presume is going to happen with a live Quinglong and a. This is, this is actually kind of interesting. I'm not entirely convinced who's going to win this game right now. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't know what kind of options Persia has on the correct back, because, like, my understanding is after this turn, the Melgus player just goes downhill from here. Yeah. But this is quite a board, and the Persia player, I don't know what's in their hand. I don't, I don't know what their options on three are. So, so at the very least, she could stand, play the uh, Regalia, and judge if she wanted to. I don't yeah. know if that's actually good. It seems kind of not good. I'm not 100% convinced of the case that it would be good. No. Uh, so Azazel, he's going to draw a card, and he'll block with the Queen Long, which is an 8-8. Yeah. I don't know if Azazel coming in first was correct. I, I think it was 100% the wrong play. Yeah. Because you really want to... Where's he'll he, just trade with where's the Where's he throwing these? He flung both at the Queen Long. Or he flung one at the Queen Long. 
we're doing. Oh, does yeah. Azazel hit J Rez's? Uh, Azazel, Azazel, whenever a creature you control dies, deals two damage to, I believe, any target, if memory any serves. Any target? Ooh, I'm not 100% okay. sure. I haven't looked. Oh. But it can go face. That's what I know. Oh, okay. So the Azazel probably just did seven to him, didn't it? Because it blocked and then he yeah, shit shot, so right? That, that would have dealt seven. You banish one to go there, and then you banish the other. No, I think he just banished them all to hit, to kill Quing Oh, he banished there. them all to Quing, kill Quing Long, and then seven goes through. I believe so. We'll Do you want me to go presume to... that that's what's going on. I think that's correct. So he's at 25. So I'll put him at 25. Still a reasonably health total for turn three judgmented Malgus. We need, like, question marks on the end of these life totals. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. It, 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 it sounds... It, hmm. No reason at all not to block this with the turtle. He's tapped out. Uh, Malgus player yeah. has nothing. Absolutely no reason not to block. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And you discard a card off of the attack trigger. Yep. Uh, I can't imagine that's too bad for Mike on turn two. Surely he's got something. I'm gonna pitch a Super Beast Burning Rush. Yes, that makes sense. Yep, he's gonna go to his turn, draw, untap. And now to see where he goes. Oh, they're rewinding to something. I can't, they're both tapped out. I can't imagine what they're... Oh, he's discarding hands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Looks like he threw a Firefox away. Alright, we're calling a stone. Yep. What do we want to see here? Are we thinking we're we thinking we're gonna get the Regalia? Probably, right? I think the Regalia at least is the starting point, yeah. Okay. So Regalia uh, pumps that up. Turtle is now huge. He's a big, chonky turtle, that's for sure. So is the Mole. Both of them are quite sizable now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks pretty darn stable for the Persia player. I mean, I don't. Um, at 25 is such a healthy number. Other guys got two stones. Godard is used. Those strangers yep. really aren't doing much. Um, swiftness to anything <clears throat> might make something kind of brutal. But again, he's down to two stones. I'm not. I think that the Persia player has basically stabilized here. But I am not sure. It, it feels like this is where you stabilize. This is where you just go into board cleanup mode because your stuff is yep. huge. And you go, here's my mole. It's like an 8-8 eight eight yeah. or something. Oh, block yeah. with Melgus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and he had two attacks into it. Only the Melgus could block. wasn't good enough. Exactly. Guy dies. Come. Yeah, this is getting out of reach for the Melgus player for sure. Yeah. 25 is a lot of life total to try to get from. Ooh. Ah, Zuque. Lovely. Now now he's got another attack for it. Mm -hmm. um, Zuque a nine nine right now, but it'll shoot for uh, four hundred, so that, that'll get in there. Yep. Uh, again, not enough blockers to save it. The, this Melgus player is going to be left with a Melgus and two stones against mm -hmm. you know um, against a sizable against that of, of beasts. And, and three mana worth of sword art yeah. cards to use. And there's a pretty decent amount of sword arts that you can just yeah. rip to do so. So. Looks like he's considering the block. It's not a terrible idea so, because throwing bugs right. under the buck here, bus here, if you have a Levitine in hand, you can start reaccruing value with your Levitine. Uh, he's going to... Super oh, Beast Rush to kill the Melgus oh, and nah, kill the dude. Burn, burning Rush to kill the Melgus and kill the dude. This feels well, like it's he's yeah. wiping the board up quite well. <laughs> Very chonky. Uh, I don't remember how big... I'm gonna, I have to it's, a five, seven, it's a 5-7 plus seven 5, naturally, so, so it's a 10-12 it's a right now. Cool. So, 10 damage goes through. Yep. I'm glad somebody knows what force down to 30. Are. Yes. <laughs> I really wish that that was how I could do it, because that's just so much easier than 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just lazy. All right, so, whole grip of cards for the Malgus player. Yeah, I mean... Three stones. Uh, yeah, it's it's so hard to put something together here. He doesn't even have the Levitine anymore. Yeah, it's one of those things where knowing what his deck list generally looks like, I really can't see a lot of lines which is going to get him to finish this out. Yeah, well, we'll start by calling a stone. That seems appropriate. It's a good start. Um, there is an invitation to Purgatory in his hand, but I don't really know what that's going to do here. Fallen Angel's aren't really going to be helping right now. Yeah, the guys are a little big for Fallen Angels. Um, kill, like, the Mole. Yeah. No, he can't even kill them. Or he can kill the Mole. The Mole is small enough to kill. But that's 400 life to So, kill okay, so how about this? The Pursuit player has absolutely nothing, right? Yeah. Shock T, another Shock T, and then, like, um, 
the Flame King's Awakening kind of style stuff, and yeah. in addition to some, I don't know, chip damage somewhere. Just trying to like put together how this could come together yeah. for him. That's still, it's like run a shock T out now, but then you just have one mana to protect it, and he doesn't have a ton of protection. He also only runs like three or less. Yeah, shock I'm not saying it's likely. I'm, I'm just yeah. trying to put together nope, I got anything you. for this guy. March of the Dead targeting Azazel. You no, know, March very good with strangers in general. Very, very good. It's one of one of the solid, solid additions to these stranger decks. So he's going to attack for seven. That is a 11-11 beaver. That's a very big beaver. Yeah, we'll leave that one to the beaver there. He's going to cast Invitation to Purgatory. He would be able to kill the beaver if he would like, because he can get the uh, the Fallen Angel and then neg the beaver a bit. Uh, the Azazel trigger looks like, I'm presuming, is going face. Probably, yeah. That would make the most sense. I can't imagine. There's no reason to pin that damage onto the, uh, the beaver. You're going to kill it with that anyway. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, so wait. No, you're not. The Azazel's a 6-6. Six, six. Azazel's a 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so you do have exactly enough to kill yeah. with uh, Fallen Angel. Oh, yeah. You only get one Fallen Angel, don't you? Right. Yeah, it's, there's not, no Satan. You're not playing Satan, the Fallen God. Put Shakti in the yard, maybe, and then if he's got, like, like, March. It sets up a March next turn. Which, you know, it's one of those things at this point in top four, you probably do it because you're going, I'll play to my outs. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think his outs right now do involve yeah. shock D nonsense. The problem is his opponent's tapped out and just goes, even without a regalia, he just goes tap three, put Prissia in play. Oh, yeah. God you, art. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah opponent, um, Scott is super dead on board if, like, he doesn't put anything else out. Yeah, looks like he put tapped a fallen out. angel in the yard. Sure. And he's passing the turn. Okay, so now he's completely tapped out. Uh, Cal has lethal on board. Um, I do? Sorry, uh, Mike <laughs> has lethal on board. My Mike, Mike has a lot of I lethal do. on board. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a pass, sorry. I thought it was a pass, too. Uh, it lo oh, oh, he was just motioning to cut, cut his deck. Sure, yeah. So now here's a Levitine. Uh, five doesn't you can really change much. Not a ton. You can get a seven-one and attack the beast token. Oh, he already had a fallen angel in yard. Uh, we're done. Yep. Yep. He's scooping it scooping up. Scooping it up. That seems about right. Cool. Well, that's one win for the Prissia. Kind of um. Kind of went a lot as of how we expected it to go. The Melgus had one kind of good turn. It didn't quite get there, and then mm -hmm. fizzled out entirely. Um. You know, a lot of this matchup, which I actually really didn't uh, recognize before, was just the ability to put blockers out that Persia has. Yes. Which, I mean, it seems like it's such a simple thing, but, like, for so much of Force of Will's history, we didn't really have a mid-range deck, so, like, this idea of just, you know, you can block aggro decks is, uh, right. was kind of lost in a lot of Force of Will metas, so it's kind of cool to see, like, how do you beat the Melgus aggro deck? You, you make big, you chunky put things blockers that on the field. You, <laughs> you put know. blockers on the field. I know, four f big five-head gay plays. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So there's game one. Mm -hmm. Mike's got game one. I don't quite know what's going on with Derek and Jalen, and nobody's here. Yeah, let's, get an it, let's go get an update on uh, on how Jalen and Derek are doing. I know a lot yeah. of people in the chat would want that. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll go and yell at somebody. Okay. See if anybody's got an idea. Sure. So Cal's going to do that. We're going to watch them shuffle up in sideboard. Um... Not sure what their sideboards are against each other. We'll try and we'll try and spot that out here while they're going. Um, I don't know exactly Mike's list. Andrew had uh, Magic Boomerang in his list. I don't know if that's any good against Melgus. Probably not. It hits Percival, and uh, that's basically it. Um, he could have cleared Mole and the token, and Persio was one will short of Judgment and God Art. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then uh, the Melgus misplayed a little bit, but uh, I'm not thinking it was probably that relevant. I don't, I don't right, recall God's the board. Costs three. It I does, yes. That. Something I have sort of forgotten about. Uh, Jalen got game one against Derek. Okay, cool. So Jalen's up a game. Uh, it's kind of generally 
what was expected, at least in game one. But yeah. Derek has a lot of sideboard tech that can come in to try to slow down the Prissia deck while he sets up lethal. So right. That's well, we might see a Prissia Prissia finals. How that is that? very much a possibility. How, how would that go, Cal? Uh, there would be a lot of beasts. I imagine there would. Very, very much so. Oh, man, that's going to be a clown fiesta of a game. We'll, oh, we'll yeah. see that. Can't wait to talk about it. Woo! All right, so... Uh, forgetting exactly what's in everyone's sideboards, uh, I'm going to see if I can locate those sure. gacha logs just so I can... We yeah, can... shout out to the Spanish players who yeah. uh, made gacha logs of all our top eight decks. Yeah. That was uh, pretty swell. We pretty appreciate amazing. that. Uh, Rito, I think, was the guy who put them together that Sweet. I was grabbing them from. Yep. So, huge, big old thanks. All right, Mike's got uh, some aggro tools. Yep. Another regalia break that almost certainly comes in. Yeah, almost, almost 100% comes in. Um, Aaron Dight doesn't seem like it does Aaron, a whole Aaron lot. Aaron Dight against Melgus doesn't really do much. Loki's insight's basically completely useless. Um, you could maybe get rushing boars. I'm not sure what it comes in against. I, you probably cut don't cheats and just put in a regalia break and then two other cards you feel like putting in. Could be Firefoxes, could be Rushing Boars. Yeah. Could be the other Magna Beast. All of those. So like I see he's got cards in there to like become more aggro and yeah. I don't know if that's what you want to do against Melgus. Like I, I feel like you yeah. are a little bit more of the slow player in this matchup. Yeah, you but want, I, don't know. I, I think you very much want to be the mid-range player. You go, here's a bunch of big dudes. Yeah. You can't deal with this. Especially because one of the things is that uh, Scott's deck has, is very light on removal. So, uh, so Scott's sideboard, he has three more Shakti's. Oh, he only plays one Shakti he main? He only plays one Shakti main. Uh, two Awakening of the Flame King. Sure. Two more uh, Fallen Angel of Fiery Vengeance. He has four Astema. Huh. And a single copy of the Elemental of the Demon Sword, and then three Memory of Disappearances. Sure. Memory gets the card out from under Leneth, which yeah. is... Um, it's a card out from other under Leneth, and then, you know, also random burial rights decks. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a, a terribly impressive sideboard for um, either of them for this matchup, although, you know, like, yeah. what anti-aggro tools do these colors have in general? Not not a whole lot. If I if I was Scott, I would probably bring in, like, the uh Oh, we are, go we are going ham, boys. He's going for the invitation play. Yep, turn one invitation. Yep. Try to pressure damage. Uh, Mike going first got a stone and passed uh that looks like elemental yep coming out so if he, then if he uses the green and the uh or sorry the black and the red for levitine he can get the seven one and then rest levitine get the elemental back yep and uh bash for 21 damage on turn one yep clean 21 on turn one well that's pretty good we, we like that that's pretty solid start presumably he has the levitine right yep looks like it yeah it, it's yeah he's got levitine well, that's kind of fun. Good start. Good start. Gotta this love that. Of, I, I, I admittedly was wondering why he wasn't playing this in his main board. He's going to send five damage yep. to Mike's face as well, just to continue. Gotta love a good non-interactive aggro deck. Yep. Just here are some dudes. Just go for it. Yep. So it looks How like... How big is that? Is a 12? 12. It's a 12-1. 12-2? 12 12-1 one. 12 so, one or 12-2. 12 yeah. So he's taking 21 plus 5, 26. He have 14 already? He's at 14. Assuming there's no interaction here. He goes down to 21. 12 takes him down to 20. Yeah. Dang. Yep. Looks like that happens. He's going to get a stranger. Yeah. Um, no, that was a pretty good turn. That Wait, did he did he get one. the stranger? Oh, uh, no. He did not get a stranger. Is it... He went to face. He went face and got the token. Yeah, but when uh, when Elemental of the Demon Sword leaves, it uh, gets a stranger, right? No, only when it goes to the graveyard. Oh, okay. And, and if you bring it back off the Levitine trigger, you don't go. It doesn't, doesn't go, go to the graveyard. graveyard. That's fair. All right, so Claw Beast. Yep. Here it's we are. Pretty standard. The you're 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 kind of banking here that he splurged a lot of damage right away, and that he hopefully doesn't have a ton of follow up. And if he does, here's an eight eight to block. Yeah. Um. The the Regalia Break is a Sword Art, so he does represent that. That's um, also if, true. if Melgus was to like, I, I guess I don't. There's no way he could flip this turn anyway. But um, no, I can't flip this. When turn. when the Melgus does flip, 
the Persia player will basically always be representing uh, Regalia Break, break yeah. so there's not really any way to ever assume that's going to go through. 700 from Token, 500 from Burn, 1200 from Elemental is 24. Did I just do math wrong? It's very possible I just did math wrong. That sounds about right, right? Uh, yeah. 16 is what he's at. Wait. 16? Sure. Yeah, yeah, it makes it 6. Yeah, I think the that math is good. 7 plus 5 plus 12, 12 16. Sure. That makes sense to me. I don't play Force of Will because <laughs> I'm good at math, guys. <laughs> All right, we're, we're Shakti. Shakti has swiftness because of Levitine, and it comes in for six. Yep. So that's going to be ten. Yep. All right. What is, what, uh, why is the Levitine tapped? What, what do you do with that? Oh, he cast, oh boy, I need, I probably need to go and get a life total update from that, because he cast a Shining Duel in the moon. Or secret duel in the moonlight mm. for some amount of life to draw some cards. Oh. Uh, so our, our our numbers are who knows. Well, yeah, and then the shock T copied it. Oh yeah, the shock T copied yeah, it. Yeah, why, why don't you go grab life total? I'll really go quick. grab life totals. Yeah, sorry, we we were messing with math and looking at the chat and didn't notice what was going on there. All right, Hung Long is resolving right now, getting that thing. It's gonna shoot Shakti for four, which doesn't two, which uh, does actually kind of matter because now the chicken can trade into it. Final battle sword art, yeah. That's what we're seeing here. Um. Hmm. Well, the Persia player is low and uh, doesn't represent any counter spells besides Don't Cheat, which I imagine doesn't really stay in pre-board. So like Levitine shoot and. Uh, and the uh, 600 from the, the God Art, or the uh, the modal spell, would be lethal without really much way for the Persia player to deal with it. So Persia is very much just kind of in burn range right now. So yeah, Scott play, paid 1,000 for the Secret Duel of the Moonlight. Drew and two. so he copied it, so it, uh, he drew two cards and killed the token and got him for six. Yeah, okay. So we had a Huang Long that got a Zukwe. Uh, yeah, that's correct. And the Zukwe, did it attack the Shakti? It or? did. It pinged and, and killed the Shakti. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we're on, uh, we're back to the Melgus player's turn. We're going to see if he can put it together. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of ways to put a thousand damage together just from spells. Uh, he does and, have multiple spells that are going, because he has thunders in his deck as long as he didn't cut right. them. Uh, I think the best line that he would have is Levitine. You, you really want to be able to be like, here's a Levitine, Judgment Malgus, get a Stranger. So like Levitine, would, would you do Levitine for the shoot opponent mode here? I'll go to five, probably. Uh, yeah, because he's got blockers with the Huang Long and the... Do you have those uh, gacha log lists? Just kind of want to see like, what kind of burn. He has he... at least four Thunders. Four, four thunder, four awa two awakening of the flame king could have go could have gone up to four. Um, Firefox but that's is actually burn. E well, it's blockable burn, which it is blockable burn, which is looks like he played a Percival. He's looking for he called a stone and played a Percival. There's a Levitine. Oh, there it is. That's a yeah. uh, oh. He has to wait because he's going to. I presume he's going to wait on it and attempt to use it next turn to push lethal. Uh, this turn, you just kind of want to provide stuff on the board. Yeah. See, if he was playing Bloody Break, you would just leave a play between for Bloody Break. But <laughs> so Percival can shoot face for two, right? Yes. So that Levitine plus Percival puts Mike at a functional eight if they wanted it to. Yeah. Uh, a functional eight? Or, eight. sorry, functional um, three. three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invitation to Purgatory again. Interesting yep. to see what he's going to grab. Uh, Fallen Angel of Fiery Vengeance. Yep. Okay. Yeah, all of the sa those beasts and sacred beasts are pretty darn big, so... Yeah, they're all getting plus three right now, so the right. Long Long's an 8-8, eight, eight, the Mole's a 6-6. Six, six. So, I think seven, that seven. the Melgus player kind of wants to survive this turn, and mm -hmm. then um, hopefully burn him out. I can't quite tell what's in his hand. He's going to play a Guinevere. Sure. 
and a Fallen Angel. So he's just clogging the board yep. up. And Put blockers on the field and then hopefully uh, stand and, and kill. Yep. So that's the plan. Let's see what Mike has in the we, other we side. We don't imagine that Mike keeps don't cheat in after board, right? That, that seems fairly unlikely in this matchup. So... Yeah. All right. So we're gonna see something happen in here. He calls a stone. He's going to making will, which probably yep. means that he's going to play another, play another one. Yeah. Yep. Another claw. Suppose with the will opportunities he has now, he can just cast flaming beast burning rush. Yeah. That sometimes just ends the game, doesn't it? Yeah. Like that could very well end the game here if he gets the right spins off of the puzzle box. So. Which, I mean, to be yeah. honest, like... That looks a lot like a Super Beast Burning Rush. All right. It's going to be a six-spin Burning Rush. What are... What, is it five spins? It's six. It, it itself puts a counter oh, on it. it does put a counter yeah. on it. Wild. That card is nuts. It's I'm going to look it up so I know what the... So the modes are uh, hit five to their face, make a six-six with swiftness, recover stones, and... Um, I don't choose a card in your Stranger deck and put it in your hand. Right, 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 right. All right. So he's doing all his rolls here. Yeah, we're he, he goes one, th two through five, in order. Re rolls on. Okay, so we've got. He's gonna deal ten to his opponent. Okay. He's gonna get a one six six with swiftness. Yep. He's gonna untap two of his magic stones and get two strangers. Oh. Well, overall, that's actually not great. I, I mean, Mike really could be dead here. Although he did get to stand two stones, and so he just plays another beast rush. Could you imagine? That would be pretty nutty. He also gets uh, two different strangers off of this as well. Right. So um, that can also push a lot of damage. I forget what strangers he's running. If he's running like Baroost, that just pushes a ton of damage because he just gave everything pierce. Um, let's see. Where are you, Mike? Yeah, he does have the bars. He has Baroost, he has Blue Wizard, he has other ones that don't much matter in Regulus. Oh, okay. he has Liz, though. He has Liz. Liz it's matters. Counter, well, not really in this matchup. It, sure it, it does. Cancel, it. it cancels his chant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the, the king, the, yeah, the burn spells, yeah. yeah we're not ex I'm not expecting a king coming out. I'm expecting a flipped Melgus and kill you. I'm expecting burn spells. That's true. Burn spells are a thing. I think I think the Melgus player, like, cause cause the Persia player can still clog board pretty well. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got five dudes in play. Melgus player only has three. Um, yeah. He'll get a functional six off of Melgus, but uh, that's assuming that we don't have any kind of like um, burning rush or any, any way to deal with dudes. Yep. All of his dudes are freaking huge. Yes. So actually, he um, is a Scott is actually going to lose most of this board here. Yeah, pretty much all of it. Uh, the the beast that entered had, does have swiftness. Oh, is that yeah. is, is Scott dead? He has three blockers. It depends on what he blocks and what strangers he got, I think. Is it 20? Well, because blocks... even the smallest thing, the, the chicken, is a 10. And so um, he yeah. only has oh, three blocks. What? Mole's a 9-9. Nine, nine. So yeah, you're right. like Mole okay. gets through and puts him to 11. Okay. Yeah, so if, if absolutely nothing else happens from either player, uh, Mike can put Scott to one. He blocks everything but the nine and the ten, and then uh, and if he has any reach, he gets there. Yeah, any reach at all. Yeah. So here's Wong Wong coming in for what would be eleven. So that's well, a yeah. Block with the fallen there. angel first, so that we can uh, get two fallen angels in the yard. Yeah. Um, two fallen angels in yard is only eight. That is not enough to kill anything on the anything board. Anything on the board, no. Anything that that has an already attack, that is. Yeah. He has two mana for sword arts, but I don't really know what he could. Two. Oh, that was wrong. Don't don't block that one. Uh, yeah, because this is twelve. Why why did you block the chicken? Uh, you blocked all of those. Doesn't There's look like it one. makes a difference. Yeah. Does um? I'm pretty sure that beast that get that comes off of uh of the the sword art has swiftness, right? Yes, but that's the the one on the right. The one on the left is the one that entered off the claw this turn. Oh, was that this turn? Okay. Yes. Never mind. My mistake. Uh, there's a Baihu. Uh, it's going to gain four life. Yep. Well, that's relevant. Yeah, it looks like he's going to ship it back. He's holding up Regalia mana. He's got three blockers. Um, don't know. 
He stands Malgus. He has the labor team, right? We, we saw that, right? He does. We yeah. don't know if Mike has regalia break or not. He is representing it with the claw, so... Yeah. Got a big board. He's got a lot of blockers. They're all yeah. quite sizable. He's got three blockers right now. Yeah. They are all huge, but I don't think their size is what really matters. Um, trying to think of, of lines here. Um... I don't think anything that comes out of the Stranger deck for Scott has, like, any form of eva evasion. Regulus could be a pain, but it would just let the Regulus go through. Right. We're going to see Levitine. We're going to see Levitine. We're going to hopefully get man off the other Levitine. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. This is a big, important turn. This, this turn is going to decide the whole game, so... If Scott can push the I, I want to see the Melgus put it together here. Um, I would be impressed. This has overall been a pretty poor showing of uh, it, it, of, the it, he, of what Melgus can do. He, he's had a bit of a rough go. So he's going to float red-black. Sure. Mythic trigger. Looks like he has a Shakti in hand, which isn't super relevant. Yeah. He's going to judge. Um, I'm guessing. I think. Derek and Jalen are going into game three, into we've game just three. been told. Derek and Jalen are going to game three. Okay. Alright, so I'm wondering if Scott didn't go face with the with the ping. He must have, right? What other I mode would... was there? He didn't get a stranger. Right, so I'm going to presume that Mike's at nine. All right. Okay. This is a tight close We've game. got five mana to work with between God's Arts and um, Sword... Uh, sword Arts. God's Arts, Swords Arts, and uh, Strangers. Maybe he could put it together. There's, there's Is there Kuchelain. one card in the Melgus player's hand? I think two. I believe I saw two previously. He gets a Does, um, Yeah. Not getting a token is probably reasonable because you don't want it. I, it the, yeah, the token you, almost does you, nothing. The five is just better, right? And then get lucky with a regulus. That, yeah, that's what he's I, I think that's going my for. assumption. Is what he's going to try to do. So the question becomes, what are we going to get there with? And he's going to march of the dead Shakti, probably. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, well, that and then that's he's tapped out. Now the now the the. Um, now okay. we ha know everything about what the Percy is doing, and, and we can see if we can put something together here. Uh, it, the Melgus player does have one more card. Coming in for 10 with the Kuchelain. Yep. That's going to eat the... It's getting god -arted. It's almost certainly getting god -arted just because he wants two cards, if anything. He's awakening here. It gets lizzed. No, he discards the blue. No, he, yeah, we're... The chat, is the chat a little behind? I think it's got to be. It might be. Um, so we're God's arting there with that mana. We got two mana left to work with. We're gonna draw two. There's a Shakti. That's not gonna do much. Um, and we are going Here's to get a random one. thing into play. It's gonna be Gear Golem. Gear Golem. It's gonna be Gear Golem. Just, I can feel it. I feel it in your bones. I feel it in my bones. Nope, that's Kronos. Okay. That does nothing. It does very little. You get to choose one thing he doesn't cast, but it doesn't matter because he has lethal on the backpack yeah, 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 yeah. represented. That basically is nothing, and I am thinking it looks like Prissia takes this down. I don't see another out here. Everything else anything. gets blocked. Um, Levitine can't put uh, can't put enough damage out, yep. and that's it. All right. There's the handshake. So it looks like we're going to have at least one Prissia in finals. Jalen and Derek are going to game are currently playing game three. And we are thinking about the second one. All right. Well, I'd really love to see how Derek and Jalen's game turns out here. Uh, a good, a strong showing from Prissia there. We we really could see um, uh, that claw just makes everything huge it's unbelievable yeah, just very much so. the, the, the thick board that they're able to put out here oh no it's my face now crap <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey um, brandon my face is up there too you're fine. yeah exactly <laughs> my face compared to yours come on it's i'm exactly. i i've not have so you're much like, to live like up to angel. no 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 oh, so yeah look at this immaculate finals. man all right we have a prissy in finals we do have at least one at least one i i obviously am here rooting for 
my boy, Derek. But I'm also good friends with Jalen. Sure. But I want machines we, to, to we, we, have, we have a lot of horses here. Um, Mike was an old friend from Arizona. Um, very glad to see him in finals. He's been coming to a lot of these. Really deserves to be there. Yeah. And then obviously me and you both friends with both Jalen and Derek, Absolutely. who, who uh, you know, both deserve to win the GP. Both of them are very, very talented players. Um, Jalen has never gotten a GP win. Derek has not. Has he not? I thought he got Denver or something at one point. Jalen? Jalen. It's going to be really embarrassing if I'm wrong. So we're going to go ahead and just retract that statement entirely. And, uh, D- Derek's got one GP title, I know. Mike's been grinding a lot for the last for this last year. And for so sure. So it's really nice to see him up there. Uh, in response to Matthew, whose comment I'll show because there's nothing wrong with it, uh, the Kuchelain was sacked to the God's Art of Melgus. He yeah. didn't die due to combat damage. It killed the token with Bane damage. Yep, and so that's that. Uh, I'm excited to see a Persia Persia mirror if that is the final one. I mean, I know we typically don't yeah. consider mirrors that that exciting, but I think that there is a lot of stuff going on in that one. I, if you want to talk to the beautiful people, I'm going to go and see if I can get an eyeball on Derek and Jalen's match. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go, go tell us how it's going. Oh, and we're going to have a, a draft starting here soon, which should be very fun. How many people do we have signed up for the draft? How many people are signed up for the draft? Yeah. No, they can't hear you, but they can hear me. Cool. So. Yeah, so cool looking game there. Uh, Kind of as we said that it really just came down to the Persia gumming up the board too much. Cal's coming back with a report on Derek and Jalen. Gonna gonna tell us who he thinks is gonna win it all. Well, Derek and Jalen are still in the early turns. Uh, Jalen has a claw and a token, uh, but that's it. J- Derek currently has uh, two tokens, a healing gimmick, a Mary Ball Type Zero with an ultimate shield, um, and a Vivian on five counters. <laughs> True. So, like, that's probably about the best thing he could ask for, mm-hmm. is especially that Vivian. All right, how many uh, friendship counters does Jalen have, do you know? I did not glance. Oh. But I'm guessing with the board state here. Cal, Cal, had, Cal. I'm, math, looking at things. You think I topped your Grand Prix by paying attention to what my opponents well, the, are doing? The, the, <laughs> the thing about that matchup, and kind of what Jalen was describing to me earlier, is it's just about, like, the, the machines player can do whatever they want. You'll put blockers on the board. You yeah. can do whatever. And then you just build up to friendship counters and then kill them with um, the, the spell. The spell. Yeah. yeah. And, so. and so for Derek, he's just trying to burn out Jalen with damage before the spell is online to kill him. Yeah. I think and, 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 yeah. and if you haven't played like much of the Persia matchup, the, the, the point at which that spell is online to kill you is just shockingly fast. I mean, like... Very. We saw the six counters that um, that Mike did there, and he had over 50% of those as untapped stones and get stranger, which are the worst two. But yeah. the six six beast and the 500 to face, like that, just adds up so fast. And so if you think that like 50% of yours are going to be there uh, between those two, which represents about 5.5 damage, then like even six counters, you're talking about a four mana sword art that does about 1500, and then yeah. sometimes more things. The, uh, the the standing stones can allow you to cast it again, or standing stones plus stranger allows you to cast those strangers you drew, which can be more damage. And so um, build a build an even better board. All this so to say that like even a five or six counter um, friendship awakening card is uh or not friendship whatever that card's called burning beast rush whatever uh super burning super rush. burning rest Bur- beast you know what i'm talking beast about rush yeah I'll, I'll the four mana yeah. roulette spell uh, uh, yaxron's puzzle box it uh, kills super them. beast burning rush exclamation point. super beast burning rush exclamation point all right well that's the spell it's very, it's very animated kills fast uh kills hard great yeah. uh great way to really break open especially the machine's mirror matchup yeah. um i slept on it I, I looked at it and said, that's a spell that says the word random on it. I have no interest in casting <laughs> this spell. <laughs> We're not playing Yogg-Saron's puzzle I'm, box. I'm not, play, I'm not a Yogg-Saron player. I'm a dirty druid player. But <laughs> uh, but obviously, we've we've seen that I under I undervalued a little uh, it more than a little bit. Yeah. More than a little bit. I was going to put, like, one copy in my deck if I was playing Percy today. I see. And I would have been completely wrong. <laughs> Thought you would have, Kaltuma. Thought you would have. Yep. All right. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see this. I really want to see uh, Jalen on stream again, so I'm kind of hoping we, we get that, of course. But I also want to see my boy Derek. Yeah, of course. You're, you're I'm, boys. I'm, Look I'm, at this. My boy. Repping, he, uh, he gets to wear the same shirt as I do. We travel to pretty much every event together. Aw. So. The best of friends. Basically. <laughs> I, I drag that poor soul all over the place. Yeah, that's so, cool. But yeah, it's cool you guys have a tight team. Yeah. It's always a lot of fun. It's really nice to have just a solid team that it's, it's really helped a lot and helped me realize a lot of the things that I have to improve on as a player as well. Oh, that's sweet. There's, I, I, I need to tighten up my All right, lines. well, we're not going to sit around and wait for the next game to start, that's so we'll go ahead and put it on the transition here, and we will be back soon with the finals between Mike Nolan on Prisia and either someone else, Jalen on Prisia or Derek on Machines. Please uh, tune in for that. Cool. Good job, Brandon.
I'm definitely not. <laughs> you down with it? I, I, if I can get other people to do top eight, it's a lot more fun, in my opinion. interesting event. I did walk into this saying that I thought that Machina and Prisia both had a chance. So I'm I'm liking the fact that the finals is Machina and Prisia. Yeah. I mean, I agree that we can tweak it and make it better, like, you know, and everything else. I'm just saying that I think that Machina and Prisia had a really strong chance of winning. That doesn't necessarily mean their best deck in the format. I think, um, Magic yeah? Like I play the white blue stone, it never came up. I should take it to Where would you play? I play white red stone instead. And then we uh, play the Dahlia Break. In the sideboard? Yeah. I think that's a good call. I like that. The beauty is I already have the deck built. So I can just keep playing it. Oh, and you have a green red. What? Oh, and I have a basic green stone in there. That, that could be a green red. Green red so that's two yeah. red stones. Yes. Yeah. That's right. That works. Wow. Wow! I didn't know how I didn't know how relevant Regali Break was gonna be, but yeah, for sure. Wow! Wowzers! Stop it! We got a forty dollar donation today on the stream. That's awesome. Dude, people really appreciate you streaming. We got another. We just got another five dollar donation from Brian. Sorry. Thank you.
Oh, cool. Hello. Ah. Uh, it's the finals. I can. I got it. Oh, we can just press the button. That's handy. Yes, it is. Player. Oh. Player decks. I can do it. I gotta actually spell it right. Machina. Cool. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Brian, for giving Jeremy money. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Brian. He's one of our locals. He's oh, a nice okay, guy. Cool. Cool, cool dude. Uh, played a lot back in uh, Lapis Cluster. He's been getting back in. It's been awesome. So, why don't we go to interview real quick so uh, we can just introduce it. Absolutely. So we can introduce who we are. Hi. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello. We are in the finals. We're at GP Vegas. It's yep. me and Cal. It's me and We're my boy, Victor. We're going to be representing for the finals, and we Absolutely. got Derek versus Mike. Derek, my boy Derek versus my boy Mike. I'm Machines invested in everyone. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It is. Um, I was able to watch. It is It is really a shame that Derek's match in the my finals was not on stream because that was a banger of a game three. Oh, yeah. Jalen versus Derek. Uh, yeah. That game was pretty insane. It, it went down two turns and just kind of barely Derek eked it out on the back of an underwater robot. It was beautiful. It was it was very close, and this is so. Derek has a little bit of experience playing against Priscilla since he just played it. Yep. Um, but they were super close games. They went one one, and then the game three was very close. It came down to the wire. And I'm pretty pumped about this. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I love Derek. Uh, I know I, I've I've met Mike here in Vegas, and, and Mike seems like a great guy. But yep. uh, uh, I've known. Derek from many force will events. So <laughs> I, yep. I hate to say it, but I'm a little tiny no. bit biased. Oh, I'm 100% biased as well. This is probably well known. But I also like Mike. I've been, I've been chilling with Mike uh, since me and him met uh, as two fellow IU lovers in Collinsville last year. And so you know, there, there's a bond there that yeah. you can't that is un under that you can't understand if you don't play IU. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, so it, it I'm, takes I'm, a special yeah. type of person to run a deck that is. That, that has that much randomness in it mm. since it's all singleton. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but so I, I'm, I'm going to be happy whoever wins, but I am, you know, vaguely invested in my good friend Derek. Um, CCG Prime, uh, there were two Machinas and one Melgus in top eight. And then there were three Prishias and one Hanzo and one Adam. That's what it was, right? I did all the numbers right? I, I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Brian, thank you for donating. That was really nice of you. Yes, thank you so much. It's going to be super exciting. Yeah, they're just checking out the deck list. I, I think, I think Mike is running the same deck list exactly. I think as Jalen was. No, there's some differences. Oh, there are some differences. There, there are okay. some differences. I have the, I have these on Gatchel Log up on. People are tagging me. Why are okay, they doing awesome. things? Okay, awesome. Awesome. Well, Cal will pull that oh, up then. People are talking to me. Um, and Derek, I'm. I know that his deck list has been posted as well. Yep. But it's again it's, thanks to uh, Rito in Spain. He posted all the gatch logs on Twitter and I just stole them because it's extremely helpful. Alright, so here's Mike's list. It's a little bit different, it's a little bit more for Sacred Beasts focused. He's got uh, more he's got four chickens and two baihus and two turtles and two quinglongs, three huanglongs, mm -hmm. two regalia breaks main. Which is extremely relevant. Yeah. The uh, regalia break should be Pretty good. Yep. Four copies of Super Beast Burning Rush, four claws, four Cisse, two Magna Beasts, four moles, uh, three don't cheats, three Burning Rush. So the Regalia Break normally against machines, I think, would be super strong main deck. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that Derek gets to see the deck list though, and he knows they're in there, yeah, he will play around it with Ultimate Shield a little bit more than than yeah, you know, you normally would if it was just a surprise factor. Yeah, it's it's more likely then that he runs out the Type Zero with a Determination in hand to be able to protect it from the Regalia Break, or he runs it out after an Ultimate Shield, that sort of thing. You still mulligan really hard for Type Zero because it's just the best card in your entire deck. Yeah. Um, and as far as far as the Four Sacred Beasts, would you say the Turtle's probably the best card? Turtle's really good. You. More than likely, when you play your Hot Springs, you go grab Turtle, and the reason is mostly that Infinite Gwen does kill you. Yeah, because it's infinitely exactly. large, but it's still just a one drop. And oh, Turtle Brown's giving more money. Vivian as well, which Hi, uh, Brian. helps a lot. Thanks, Brian, for the donation. Yeah, thank you, Brian. That was awesome. 
Uh, so yeah, this, this deck is a lot more aggressive, and it's also very much based on this on that card. It's Super Beast Burning Rush. All right, they just did the cuts. Um, they're Looks probably like going to go to uh, Mulligans now. Yep. Uh, Derek's deck list. He only runs. Uh, I think he's like me. He only runs four four ofs. Yeah. He has four Mariabella, four Determination, four Mariabella's Works, and four Type Zeros. And then the rest of it is a lot of tech cards. Yeah. yeah. He's Which got I'm not one, gonna of, name one all of Percy of and... Uh... Yeah. Lots of very interesting tech card choices. Uh, we, we went through a lot of iterations of this deck list which is why right. it's such a mess <laughs> the resolving mulligans right now it looks yep. like he's got an ultimate shield in hand a determination it looks yeah. like a gwyn it, um, yeah it's and those an are the three keeps and oh no he just pitched the pitching uh, the ultimate shield the ultimate shield okay he's holding so what i would do here and what i think derek's probably trying to figure out he's got a gwyn in hand did he just draw a don't cheat he's holding don't cheat in his opener okay yeah and that's because the main way prissy is going to kill you is with that super beast burning rush so he wants to be able to make sure he has the don't cheats for that. Like, you, you always just hold up that don't cheat unless you are killing your opponent. Mm -hmm. um, no type zero is a little bit rough. He does have a Guinevere, though. All right, so Derek's turn one. He's going to play Gwyn. Yep. Mike just calls a stone and passes. He's going to put the two counters on her. Yep. Gets to hold up blue for any interest in... Okay, the cause comes down. Um, he's going to do the friendship counters. And more than likely a beast. And yep. a beast, yes. That's a Pokemon card. <laughs> okay, Derek draws. He gets a... Uh, Another Mariabella's work, Mary which is a little work. bit difficult right now. His hand is clogging a little bit. It, it's not hard to get that very many beasts Ooh. out, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, very many machines out in this deck. That's so true. It will be he turned needs, on. He needs Type 0. Somewhat Type soon. 0 is extremely important because Type 0 also represents here some chump blockers. Um, he doesn't have it yet. He also doesn't have a Mariabella, which is rough. Passes the turn back to Mike. Yeah, he might be thinking about playing Determination at the end of, of Mike's turn. Um, but what, what I would... Well, he can't play Determination. He has double Dark Depths right now. Oh, double Dark Depths. He, yeah, his, yeah, his stones are, are betraying him a little bit right now. Well, I mean, unless he wanted to Energize for it, but yeah. Oh, he has Energize. Okay, so he could still play that... He also, like, if I'm doing this, I'm saying this is going to be a kind of painful turn. All right, he's resting the uh, Regalia in two. He's and casting he's gonna play a another claw. One. Okay. Goes up to four so counters. So he's just floating two. Floating two gets a beast. Yeah, beast encounters. Um, he's that, floating that two ma more. Ma uh, five mana? So he's got five total. And he's going to go ahead and play Burning Rush. Burning Rush. Goes to five counters, and here we go. Yeah. Uh, oof. That's rough. Deals ten damage to Derek and gets three strangers, which is better than nothing, but is not really what you're trying to do here. You want to flood the board with things with swiftness. Okay, you're going to taunt me with the pizza that I'm not going to eat because I'm talking. Thank you. So he gets the three strangers. Yep. Hopefully uh, he got something decent off the strangers. I'm sure he wanted at least out. one stone on tap out of those five rolls. Right. In reality, what he probably wanted was five, six, six beasts. <laughs> but instead he gets uh, ten damage to base. And now he's swinging for, uh, for 11, face. right? Uh, yes, and so that's going to draw a determination. Okay, yeah, he's going to play the determination. So uh, he's going to be searching for a one drop. Um, and, and then bending a one drop as well. Both of them have to be machines. Yeah. Do you think he w is going to go for the shield here? Yeah, probably so. He's, he pu he's put it he's at the put top. put the shield on the top. Oh, because he can get the shield block with Guinevere and prevent damage. So yeah. gets the shield. And even though she's rested, if something else attacks into her, it's still prevented. It's prevented for the rest of the turn. Derek has to bin a card as well. I believe. He's trying to figure out what he wants to bin. He'll bin Vivian, which makes sense. He's got a machine lab, so he can bring it back to... In game one, where he doesn't have underwater robot, Vivian's his best tool for trying to keep uh, the aggression low. He did pitch a Vivian, right? 
Uh, he did pitch for Vivian. Cool. He uh, he pitched it, and he was kind of reconsidering, and then it looks like he, he pitched it again. Oh, I'll, also, actually, he can't prevent damage on the Guinevere right now with the shield because he doesn't control Type-0. He can give it four... Oh, that's right. That's right. You have to have... Randall yeah, you have out. to have Type-0 mm -hmm. to activate that ability. He, yeah. He... He, he could give it plus four, but that wouldn't help, yeah. help much right now. He still jump blocks. Uh, um, prevents 11 damage. He's going to have that get bursted. And yeah. Take 11. Take 11. That is some kind of damage. Draws for turn. Gets another machine lab. Gets another machine lab. Interesting. So that Gwen would have been pretty good, <laughs> having well, her out. Well, there's still the chance because you can. Oh, oh man, he's one mana short to do the combo. Hmm. No type zeros. This is a rough situation. Especially yeah, Der with Derek's hand uh, has been pretty clunky. Like yeah. we, we, he has those two works in hand, um, with which no he can't zeros. cast really. Yeah, um, and no type zero. He also has that don't cheat in hand, which, uh, like you're saying, if they got to a later game situation, yeah. that'd be great. But uh, right now, yeah. he can't even cast it. Right. Type 0 is really great. Or uh, Don't cheat's really great when you have the type 0 because then it kind of pseudo costs 1 mm -hmm. and is a lot easier to cast to try to counter those beast rushes. But uh, he doesn't have it right now. This is, this is one of the dangers of the machine deck. It can clunk. And it's... Always a little bit worrisome that it will clunk. Yeah. Because the main problem is that, like, you're very much built around here's a Type 0, here's it, the Mary Bell. His deck more so, because he is running some tech cards like mm -hmm. Don't Cheat and, oh, yeah. um, and like, Percival and stuff yeah. like that. He's going to play a 1 mana 8 8 to get a token on Vivian and have two blockers. Mm hmm. And he's going to pass. Let's see what Mike has for his He does have four. two blockers, but they're both smaller than 11-11s. <laughs> yeah. So those are on strict chump block duty. But, so here's what is going on. Derek's probably going to do his best to try to protect this Vivian, if he can. Which is going to be a little bit more difficult with his so Zukwe. Derek, Derek is has no stones available, correct? Correct. Okay, and and There's there a comes Baroost. a Baroost. I think this should be just lethal because he if he blocks two, um, the other two should just get through. That's yep. game. Yeah. Yeah, he just scoops. So what Derek probably was attempting to do there is um, if he if if um, Mike doesn't have, you know, you play tier outs. If Mike doesn't have the uh, a follow up to be able to push the lethal there, what you do is the next turn you go play Machine Lab. No, you find a Guinevere somehow. You have to find a Guinevere, and that's the key thing. You need a Guinevere, and then you cast the Machine Lab, you combo off, and you kill them with Vivian. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if chumping with Guinevere that turn was the right play. I, I, it might have been worth taking more damage and just having the Gwen out since you had two Machine Labs in hand. But he, he wouldn't have had the will to develop both the Machine Labs and combo right. off the next turn anyway. Yeah, you wouldn't. Um, he didn't have the mana to combo off that next turn. And as well... You have the Machine Lab. If you think there's an opening, you're able to just go Machine Lab, grab Guinevere, mm -hmm. cast the other Machine Lab combo. And then, if nothing else, you slam a Camelot on their turn, you kill their two biggest threats, and you block with the Camelot and just kind of cross your fingers and pray. Yeah. So, now we get to go to sideboards, and this is where stuff gets to be adjusted. Derek gets better post sideboard in this matchup due to mostly one card, and that one card is Underwater Robot. So, uh, is he main decking Underwater? No. He is not main decking it. He has two Underwater Robots in the sideboard. Oh, okay. So, the main things that probably come in here, based on what I was seeing him bringing in against Jalen, uh, he brings in the Underwater Robots, and he brings in uh, Look of Corruption. Yeah, I saw him casting Look of Corruption against Jalen as yeah. well. Uh, you probably cut your Loki's insights because they're generally pretty meh in this matchup. He's looking, I think, at cutting the don't cheat as well. Yeah, the don't cheat was a one of in the main deck. I, I, I think you're trying to get uh, look of yeah. corruption to get the uh, the higher cost spells out of uh, Mike's hand rather yeah. than because uh, look than of corruption just takes beast rush. 
They can also take claws and other things if there's other more relevant stuff going on. So, so out of the deck, what what do you think he's siding out? You're saying he's you think he's going to side out the don't cheat and uh, maybe the look of insight. Uh, I couldn't quite tell. It lo actually looked like maybe the the uh, don't cheat's going in. So that also makes sense because here's the thing: as as we've stated, they win off of beast rush, and the best thing to answer a four mana spell is a three mana counter spell. And so as long as like that match looked bad. Mm -hmm. Derek lost because he didn't see type zero. Yeah, that was but the he, entire reason why he he, lost. he could not establish a board and keep a board. Yeah, and the beast deck, if they just have beast out, I mean they're all all get bigger and bigger every exactly. time you get a friendship counter. So the, it you, can just carry that really, way. Too. You can't really like tempo the Prissia deck. You can't rely on play a thing hit you, play a thing hit you, and try to get to victory. No, Prissy is going to blow you out before that ever happens. So you have to go really hard on. I'm going to kill you on three, and mm -hmm. just survive till that. Yeah, and the, that the, hand just did not give him the tools. He had the tools to get there if he did. If he had a type zero at any point in that series, he goes type zero, draw four to six cards. You probably have lethal somewhere in that affair. Then. And and the Machina deck has a lot of kind of combo-ish elements to it. Very much so. Uh, you know, Gwen in the labs. Uh, it also has, uh, like, Deuce X. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he runs that some. And um, it, and also Mary Bell. Mary Bell, a lot of times he'll put a bunch of counters on Mary Bell and just make her huge and then kind of yep. combo to get her, to get her damage in. You can attack in. with Pierce to deal with that. So, um, yeah. So I would, I think he's bringing an extra don't cheat, and I would do that. You cut the Loki's insights because it doesn't do anything in this mm -hmm. matchup. Um, yeah, Lover's I think, lock is a possibility to be cut. Um, yeah, I think Derek's thinking about going a little longer, getting one of his combos out because the Persia deck does not have much interaction with his deck. Right. And I'm um, just trying to win that way by yeah. getting, you know, maybe one really big attacker through. Mike in the sideboard, he's got a few different things. I think the main things that are coming in is uh, the third Regalia break right. comes in. They're on turn one. He just played a Springs. Oh, they're starting. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. He plays a Springs. He's going to search a Beast out. Uh, four Sacred Beasts, yep. All right. So we're starting. Derek Get takes the counter. things again. Gets Turtle. Gets the Turtle. Logical. The Turtle is probably the one of the best ways to interact with the Machina deck because it can bounce the Vivians and Gwens. Uh, yeah. Gwyn most more accurate, most notably. Uh and that's two mana. Derek's energizing. I think he's going to play a Mary Bell, yeah. Type zero comes down. Um, so I think the first to... one, you do two two tokens and a stranger. Yep. Uh, usually it's two. It's it's either two tokens and a stranger or counters and a stranger. In this matchup, it's generally the two tokens because of um, you just need things to, to chump. chump. <laughs> yeah. And also, the, the main reason that you get that is that... Uh, um, it's easier to turn on Mary Bell's work, and that's when your deck really goes hard, is when you start casting Mary Bell's works. All right, so Mike's playing a Claw on turn yep, two. He's already at three Friendship Counters. Three Friendship Counters. He's live. His Cissé is live. Uh, he's probably he's gonna get a uh, Stranger. Interesting. Yeah. That is interesting, because um, the first call he played last game, he went for the Beast token, mm -hmm. and uh, he won the first game. <laughs> so yeah, you would think he would repeat they've been that going, pattern. They, they've been doing a lot of friendship counters plus token. Mm -hmm. I guess he is trying to get... I forget if he plays Liz in his... He does? Okay, so Mike's playing Liz, so, so that could be what he's going for. We get a stone call from Derek. It looks like Derek might be playing an ultimate shield. He's thinking about it. Ultimate Shield does protect from theoretical Regalia Breaks. You do just cast Regalia Break in response, but then you just de Determination for the other shield, and now you have Mar Mar Mary Bella's work online. What's the point? Um, the shield cut is, turns off Regalia Break, right? Because, yes. uh, yeah, because Mary Bell gets uh, Barrier. barrier. But uh, in response, in response to you casting the shield, they can Regalia break in response to it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, he's, he's holding consideration. Yeah, first. he's he's thinking about it. I think he had a determination in hand as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I did see a determination in his hand. So, but like, he could cast that off Mary Bell. So, um, yeah. I'm so not, that, he also has a sure Liz. It looks like, which is big. Do. So it might just be like trying to bait Mike into tapping for 
a Beast Rush next turn. So he has uh, Mariabella's work, I think, in hand as well. Yeah. Um, he might be just trying to get... Now he's got four machines. He could cast that for one if he wanted and just yeah. draw two more. Um, it is a, a quick cast, though, so he might do it on, on his opponent's turn. Okay. Interesting play. We're seeing the Zuquay come down off of the Cissé. Um This does very much kind of point to me that uh, it's possible that Mike just has a really rough hand right now. Because usually you're trying to save that that uh, John Wu, that that one. Yeah, I mean he he's just trying to develop his board a little bit, um, but also double blue stone is a bit rough. It's it's interesting he didn't make a beast token to do that, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna push the some damage. That's eight, yeah. I believe. Um, that would be eight. Yeah. Do it to the right. Oh, player. he got a. <laughs> Oh, well, we got a Regulus. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty decent card, man. Yeah, that that's good for the early game right now. It's definitely the biggest thing on the board uh, at a 13-13. Yeah. He is swinging in. One good thing about playing the uh, turtle is it bounced one of the tokens, which it doesn't return to hand. It just gets removed from the game. Um, and now he, he does have a board. He's got two beasts. Um, at decent size since there's three friendship counters. Yep. And he's he's developing further. Got a boar, makes him bigger. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So okay. that so that boar's an eight eight. The turtle uh, now has six power and the regulus is fourteen, so um, it's getting bigger and bigger. Uh, and now another sacred beast. Um, so he's gonna shoot the token. Yep. Um okay. And swing in for another eight. It's 11. Derek's at a fairly low life total, but... Yeah, this is getting pretty scary. There's now, that seems up. like a misplay to me. I think he should have played the mole er earlier in the turn to get the extra friendship counter. So his uh, Zhu Kui would have been, you know, 100 bigger um, and, and everything else as well. It's possible, but it's also possible he just wanted to, like, make sure that they... They got through. They got... They, they ended up on the board. Yeah, his okay. sequencing, Four it might have been better to do it the other way, but he might have yeah. wanted to make sure the attacks went through okay before he okay. played them all. All right, so Mike's at 4,000. Looks like Derek is, he's tapped out. So depending on what happens here, I think I saw a buster rifle in Derek's hand. Looks like he's considering pitching Mary Bell to go find a type zero. This is a little difficult because you want mana. Yeah, and and it's unfortunately for, for the machine deck, there's not many cards that deal with a wide board. Um, I mean, he can make chump blockers fairly easily with two twos, but there's not much that deals with it. Um, well, Machina has Pierce and gets very very big. He's a twelve twelve, but he can't give Mary Bell flying, and he doesn't have Pierce at the moment. Yeah, I'm just trying to survive, uh, trying to see how Derek would survive the next turn. Um, he. And that's what he's thinking about as well. Right. Um, I think pitching for the pitching the Maribel might be the first step, Maribel. Yeah, he's gonna want to use this one mana before untaps for something. Yeah. And there's a non-zero chance that he pitches determination as well. Determination makes uh, he either. Oh, he really needs swiftness. Is the thing. Yeah. Um, well, when when you're behind like this. Uh, you need to be doing whatever you can to get value out of the cards you have in hand yeah. to like come back in game. You can't save them for the late game because you're right. going to you're going to die. There is no early. late game here. Yeah. De Derek fully understands that he is currently about to go. Like it is do or die time. He either mm -hmm. clears this board and survives, kills his opponent, or loses next turn. There's there's no two ways around this. Um, the biggest creature on board, I think, is a. Nine nine and eight eight. Uh, the biggest creature on the other side? The biggest creature on Mike's side, yes. Um, right now the pig is a nine nine that is recovered. Oh, okay, yeah. So he's got a nine nine that's recovered. Mm -hmm. um, and the mole is an eight eight. He's got what looks like two type zeros. He's got to cast determination before on taps. So the question is just what he does. Um, oof, this is rough. Yeah, th this this is a bit rough. Uh, I I 
I think, well, I was about to say, I think he might be able to survive another turn. Um, and maybe it'd be worth setting up for that. But um, I, I, I don't see how he wins this turn. I, it's, I, it's, it's hard to, for me to see how he both survives this turn and sets up to kill the next turn. Yeah. That's I, a lot of stuff to do for three mana plus a Mary Bell type zero. Yeah, I, I think he might be better off just trying but, to survive this turn um, and set yeah. up for the next turn to try to pull out a win somehow that way uh, when he has one more stone. Um, and right. there, there is a chance he could survive this turn, depending on, you know, I think Mike only has one, or is it two cards in hand? It looks like maybe one. Um, so his hand might, he might not have much more gas. So hopefully if Derek could survive one more turn and just kind of chump yeah. this board, he could uh, develop the uh, flip next turn and, and maybe get lethal somehow. Yeah, the, yeah, Lars. Um, it would be much easier if he had the rifle in play right now, but he doesn't have the rifle right now. If he had the rifle, he would have lethal, I believe. You're correct, but he doesn't. That's yeah, I think I think he's him. just a little bit off, and that's why he recovered without casting determination or anything. Yeah. So he's he's gonna need that. Mary Bella, I mean Mary Bella as a as a blocker this turn. Yeah. Um, he's probably going to develop the other Mary Bell just to get, I'm guessing two tokens. Um, and I'm sure he's going to float Problem two is before. Everything his, is lethal. Yeah. He, he, well, not everything, but <laughs> most of it. Uh, Almost everything is lethal. And if yeah. the, I mean, if there's any way to put three counters on, everything's lethal. Yeah. So he gets two tokens. Well, the, the Regulus is going to deal two to Derek almost Regulus, no matter what. Yeah. Because um, he's going to block with the 2-2. Two, two. Um, so he's at nine effectively. So the uh, pig and the turtle would both be lethal. lethal. The mole could healing get through. Healing gimmick gives him ten more life. Uh, healing gimmick was a, was great off the stranger deck. Pretty solid hit off the stranger And deck. it gives him one more card to, to give him some gas for next turn yeah. as well. Probably taps for blue-green here. So there's, there's no downside to playing the gimmick uh, unless you were going to play like a Vivian first or something like that. No, oh, yeah. It looks like instead he's got a purse rule. Um, I think like one line that could theoretically get him there is getting another determination off the Percival. He still has a Mar Mariabella's work too, right, uh, in hand. I, I think, think we so. saw it earlier in the game. So if he plays one more machine, he could cast that for free, um, get two more cards to look at. Um, so that healing gimmick could have, you know, helped him cast that as well. Yeah. So we'll cast a termination off of the floating will from the other type zero. It's it's curious what he goes and gets here. Yeah. I If there was some way he could have saved it in hand, um, he needs that to kind of push damage. Um, but uh, he might just think, hey, I to survive, I have to cast it now and just get a one drop. Right. And what the one drop? You get a oh, okay. It, Vivian, it does look like a Buster Rifle, or you can get a Guinevere. It looks like he's thinking about Vivian or Gwyne Guinevere, and playing the Vivian now makes sense to why he didn't play the Healing Gimmick yet. Yeah. Because now you play the Healing Gimmick, you get a counter on, and if you have another thing to put a put a machine in play, you get a second counter on Vivian, which means you can tap down the Regulus, which is relevant because the Regulus is the biggest threat right now. Yeah. So um, Derek has stabilized pretty well this turn. Uh, maybe. Um, well, I mean, he stabilized as well as he probably could have. Yeah. Um, he spent a lot of resources for that. Um, he He's he's hoping that Mike's hand is bad. <laughs> that Mike yeah. doesn't have any interaction with the blockers. Oh, I think he has a remote control beast, so I think he can just cast that and put a token on the Vivian, and then cast Percival Dig for Determination of the Machine Lord, mm -hmm. and then just kind of ship the turn and pray. Yeah, it, it does look like he, he does has a, he, he does have the Percival. He's about to play it right now. Right. So but he's going to no look at his top five, and I think Determination would be what he was looking for. Yeah. 
work, work, work. <laughs> yeah, three Should works, a lab, and a Gwyn. Uh, he's obviously going to take a work and just cast it. Yeah. Just get, to draw just get two, two more, more cards. cards. That's what he does. He, oh, that's, that's I thought he something. was casting it. Yep, cast work, draw two. Draws Camelot. He draws the fortress, yeah. Draws, draws another more. work. He's going to draw two more. Draws March, draws Mariabella. Yeah, March and Mariabella. None of those are determination of the Machine Lord. He has he has the counter spell in hand for the Breeze Rush, so that's not a concern for him right I, now. I think he a... really would would have loved to have one more beast down. Like if he had that remote control yeah. beast, um, having Vivian on two counters just to tap yeah. or rest the Regulus would have been really nice this turn. Yeah, that would have been extremely handy. So, um, so I don't know why he's doing this now. He should have attacked and bounced yeah. whatever blocked. I would have attacked. Yeah. That's maybe a little suspect. But, oh, he's going to pay some life. Or maybe he's not. Oh, he's just going to cast it with the claw. Yeah. Um, so healing gimmick can gain a thousand. Um, yep. But <laughs> the clearing out all the blockers... Um, I'm sure Mike's going to pay a lot of life right here. Looks like he's uh, paying 1,200 life to cast that spell. According to Jeremy. So 1,200, is that enough to clear everything? Yeah, it should be enough to clear everything. So he's going to run out the Liz to counter that. To counter the, spe the chance yeah. spell. And now that makes it so that... Uh, he can't he, cast. Uh, he couldn't Peter, have let uh, that resolve. I mean, no, no, the, the, he, that's that is that was completely lethal. At that very point. fortunate the Liz was there. He has another. Yeah, I mean, he could have shot Regulus, but it still would have been countered. So it's gonna get a stranger. It looks like off of the. Uh... It's another stranger. Mike holds his stuff too close to his face, so I can't see what he got. That's a Bruce. Oh, man. Yeah, that's that's a great draw. Bruce gives everything Pierce. Um, I don't think he has... Oh, he hadn't called a stone yet. Um, his, it looks like his Prissia is still uh, recovered. So if he gets a green stone, uh, he can give everything Pierce. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that, that's, that's game. It. That's game. What a, what a stranger draw, though. Um, so that was a pretty quick finals. Um, I think the first game, Derek just kind of stumbled on his draws. The second yep. game, his draw looked, you know, fairly Better. decent. Yeah. Um, uh, he I just think... wasn't able to manufacture lethal in the face of a pretty strong turn two from Mike. It was just rough. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. And the beast deck is so consistent because a lot of the parts that help the future combo of pay, of playing the four cost spell are parts that just develop the board yeah. and, and do stuff anyway on their own. Um, Very much so, yeah. Yeah, uh, and his hands, uh, both games for the Beast deck, I mean, it, or for Prissia deck, um, it looked like he drew pretty well. Um, yeah. I think game one, he never had a turn one play, uh, but game two, he went springs in, into action, into claws, yeah. um, and so he developed pretty quickly game two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So your, your, your Grand Prix uh, Las Vegas champion is Mike Nolan. Yeah, Mike. With Green Red Prisia. It's pretty solid. And uh, it is cool that he won with Prisia. Uh, yep. A lot of people, I think, underrated that deck a little bit. Yeah, very much um, so. They thought, you know, it wasn't quite on the same tier as, like, the Perfect Loki and the uh, and the Machina deck. Right. deck but this just proves yeah, that uh yeah, it has legs yeah it's and and this field was a very diverse field very diverse. so it, it did it did very well against you know multiple different rulers it'll be interesting to see the information from here in vegas and how that's going to translate then to uh how we play the next our next grand prix in minnesota where people because it's going to be ao2 again yeah. So there's not going to be too much that's probably changed. And, and people will have more access to the new cards uh, and will be brewing new stuff. Um, 
But uh, yeah, we were we were hoping you know Derek might be able to pull it out with his uh, Machina, but uh, but Priscio was just too strong. Yep. The beast he he developed his friendship counter so fast both games that the beast just got huge. Yeah. I'm going to go and try to grab Mike to come and chat on stream. Yeah, that sounds good. Talk about how beautiful he is. So Cal's going to go grab Mike. Um, we'll have Mike over here to do a quick interview. And, um, and yeah. Hey, Derek, do you want to say hi to the stream real quick? Derek's right here. We'll get him to say hi real quick. Howdy, guys. Crowd favorite, favorite Derek. We tried. So, out of your Machina deck, what was your favorite card the whole tournament? What was the one card that you loved every time you drew it? Type 0. Type 0. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah, you can't argue with yeah, that. And, it's just uh, so much value. Yeah, it's probably... Okay, so, but it, realistically speaking, um, let's see, favorite card... Actually, no, yeah, it's just Type 0. I don't think there was any card I'd wanted to see more than Type 0 or Maryville. Yeah. Were there, were there, Mary Bell was were there any plays you made during the tournament that were just insane? That you that Insane or, like, insanely bad? <laughs> no, insa uh, insanely good. Insanely um, good. I, I know I saw a Deuce X that had 40 counters on it, yep. uh, th which led to lethal yeah, in one that, game with you. So that one... Um, I was basically out of options, so I tried to go for just a Hail Mary play. It's like, oh, if he blocks like this, I have lethal, but, like, if he doesn't, like... But then your opponent the blocked like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, I put the, I put the 40 counters on Deus Ex, and then I was like, all right, animate Mariabella, swing for 1,000. And then he decided to block with... I didn't have the, uh, the Pierce edition out, so he's like, all right, let's block with Dark Gale. So I was like, in response, uh, play... Um, determination get the pierce from my deck and then like move 39 counters over and then give it plus four yeah yeah so, move all these counters over to, the, yeah. to your pierce and then that was just lethal but if you if you blocked the perfect loki then i was just like yep we drew you yeah so. and he he had you on the crack back that was that yeah. was a really good game yeah so th that that was probably like the craziest play that i've had all day um definitely made a lot of misplays um in I think uh, everyone the, in the does. Early, in the early Force of Will is such a complicated game. Um, it it's so much fun to play, uh, but it's it's. <laughs> I think everyone makes misplays oh, yeah. it was, all the these, time. These There's these so many decisions. This was this is. Oh okay. Um, yeah. There's so many timing decisions too, since you can use your will before you recover and that kind of stuff. It's like, do I play this end of their turn? Do I play this before my turn starts? Uh, right, right. You know, there's there's so many different phases of each turn. Um, Brian, thank you for uh, the donation. He says, GG, Derek. Oh, hey, Brian, um, how's it going? Thanks yeah. for the donation. Appreciate Brian's it. been donating, like, all day today. He's been on a roll. a guy. Proud of you. Yeah, but we've, we've been having some fun in, in uh, Vegas. I met uh, the Overwatch voice actors last oh, night. Oh, really? Yeah, that was really sweet. Damn, that um, sounds like a lot of fun. I missed out on that, apparently. Yeah, the, like, Lucio and Genji and Sombra. Uh, and we've just been having a good time. I know uh, last night we all went to... Uh, out to eat, Food yeah. We went to this Brazilian uh, steakhouse. It was so Worth good. Worth every cent. Yeah, I think yeah. Derek ate like twice his body weight in, oh, in yeah, steak. Um, but we had good a good food. time. Yeah, I think coming into this event, definitely was not expecting Prisia. Well, I expected like maybe a few Prisia, but mm -hmm. I definitely didn't expect it to do well. Um, so that I four mana chant, I definitely wrote off as a meme. Sometimes it just. It just gets you. So I actually, like. I actually <laughs> thought Prisia was pretty good going to, into this weekend. I didn't think many people would play her though, uh, yeah. but I knew a lot of people on, on Untap were playing Prisia, and I have had that forecast spell cast against me. Yeah. And um, <laughs> you're just, you're, you're just like, wait, you get to roll how many dice? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know against uh, in my game against uh, Jalen, he kind of low, he low rolled both, but mm -hmm. like. If, oh. if, if even like a few of those dice rolled a little bit differently, like I just lost the game. There, there was one game with Jalen in the uh, semifinals against Derek that Jalen rolled five dice. I think it, it was either five he or six. So he there was in game two he rolled seven dice and four times he rolled untapped three stones. Okay, okay, so. and then and, and then in the third, I think was it? No, no, okay, okay, it was the game two. Mm -hmm. I thought he rolled six dice and like four of them were untapped stones that, that yeah. Was, yeah that was in game three yeah yeah so that was just so so four of the dice like ended up you know not mattering much yeah. uh yeah
Sometimes you get unlucky with Sometimes that. Sometimes you get unlucky, but I, I don't know. That card, that card was pretty powerful. But um, it That's seems like good. on the untap, more meme stuff happens. So, mm -hmm. like, I've had opponents roll it against me where they have 11 or 12 dice, and then you're just like... Yeah, you're just like, oh, okay. You're like, what just happened? And then untap's random number generator take, so takes over, and you get domed for the billion damage. Yeah. You're like, thanks, untap. They're just rolling the, the D6 pass. over and over, and you're like, just tell me at the end what yeah, happens. Yeah, like, like, am I dead? Like, just let me know when it's over. When September ends. I'm not yeah. to be here all day. But um, I, I knew Percy was pretty strong just because there's no way to deal with her counters. Mm -hmm. And there's not that many good ways to deal with the regalia uh, that Count are main deckable. Hardly. Yeah. Um, it's like, ah, these are big dudes. Yeah. I you can't get around that. You can sideboard Jeez. into regalia hate, like uh, uh, the regalia break. Um, also, Seal Lineth does well on dealing right. with regalia. Both of which are not in machine colors. Yeah, yeah. And, so. and most most of those are not in main decks. So um, we end up going into the white splash. Yeah. Food for thought. Um, I think I think if they release new magic stones, um, I think the uh, the decks are going to get more consistent mana wise, mm -hmm. um, to where or will wise to where I think four color will be way more common. Um, three and four color decks. Um, when you can it, like if if all your stones are like like if you're running blue white green for example right. you can you can do blue and green and blue and white stones yep. but they're uh, there's not any white green right now right so uh, once you got the plus. other stones in you know you could have more consistency yeah, instead sure. of having like and I, eight I think that, blue and sources I think that that you pointed out right there the inconsistency in the stones is like kind of what screwed over some of the perfect lucky players because sometimes it'd just be like I feel like that deck has like the best spread like over the meta but sometimes you just get screwed by your stones and then it's like oh if i had just seen this one color yeah and, and, and the hanzo deck that made top eight uh was dealing with that a little bit too yep. uh he yeah, was running just people. a few yeah, like even, even white against stones. me yeah even against me um in game one he opened uh white green 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 and i was just like oh thanks <laughs> okay we so, got uh we got mike coming over you got the champ um, yeah, so I think once they print more stones, they'll get more consistent. We oh, know sure. more stones are coming because we have to have a moon will for that red, That's <laughs> that red be interesting. sword art. That's definitely so be there's definitely going to be some stones that make moon uh, that are going to be coming out. Yes. Um, people have uh, speculated that lapis will be a, a thing in the next set. Um, so it will be lapis. interesting to see what directions they take. Um, we are just doing a little bit of stuff on the computer, and then Mike's going to come over and, and sit down. Um, overall, have you had a good weekend? I, I thought it was a pretty good weekend. I uh, wasn't c completely expecting to get top eight. Uh, kind of was fretting at, like, up until the last second, um, trying to figure out what deck I was going to play. Uh, first, it was going to be on Val, and I was like, I can't win with Val because there's no win condition. And then I was like, oh, yeah. I'm going to play this deck, and oh, I'm going to play this deck. And then finally, uh, I was talking to a bunch of people. Uh, shout out to Lars, by the way. Uh, thanks for the deck list. Well, Lars uh, has I'm, been I'm, posting I'm, a lot. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry that I, I, I let you down. I, I apologize. Um, uh, but so the yeah yeah. Um, so yeah, we're basically. gonna have Jeremy and right. uh, Mike get on the stream and, and do a quick interview with uh, with Mike, the the GP winner. Yeah, I didn't have rifle. That was the big thing. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And then I was like, I can't give swiftness and get the rifle. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I we we could tell you were a little bit short, but I uh, we were thinking you were building up for the next turn. Yeah, um, that, that was like well, so and that was the, like the only problem with trying to build up for the next turn was like he has like eight thousand damage and I'm at eleven. So yeah, I'm just like and you uh, uh, he only had I think one or two cards in hand and you yeah, just had to hope like, that yeah, they were like, bad. I, I, I yeah. have to hope they're bad. And turns out it was remove your board judgment, and I'm just like that'll yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. And they, yeah. it turned out that they weren't bad. Nope, <laughs> so, nope, nope. Yeah. yeah. But, well, the, I mean, I, I think you played to your outs. I think yeah, I think I, you did what I you definitely, could. I definitely do think there were some mulligan choices that were incorrect. Um, in game one, I decided to keep my one of don't cheat for the four mana spell. And then yeah. I went, proceeded to hit Blackstone, Blackstone. And I was like... Didn't, didn't you mulligan into don't cheat? I no, I, was, I kept no, it in oh, You kept um, it, okay. I highly considered mulling it because my hand was kind of... But yeah. like I was like, all right. So my thought process is, if I hit like if I hit the regalia, then it's just like, all right. Turn two, play the regalia. Turn three, recover, leave up like the one green, and then I can don't cheat the spell, and then I feel like I'm in a decent position. But didn't pan out that way. And yeah. Yeah. But definitely shout out to Mike for for piloting Prisia. Well, uh, Mike's going to be sitting down. He's going to be telling us about his uh, Prisia deck that he piloted 
to many a friendship counters and uh, many a four cost spell. Yeah, <laughs> many the fuck. Um, and uh, and Jeremy's going to be interviewing him. So also, Baruch, be... that card just. <laughs> Baroost. Uh yeah. yeah so the stranger deck does add some RNG into the game, but when you draw a sweet stranger like that, yeah. All right. We're getting we're getting we're getting hijacked. I'm kicking All you right. off, boys. You I'm kicking you off. Ugh. Let's get back in here. Uh Mike, Nolan, and Jeremy Franklin. Oh, Jeremy Franklin, little. Come on in, buddy. Grab a headset. Scooch in close. My friend, Mike Nolan. Hey. Congratulations. Thank You're going you. to Japan, buddy. Oh, I'm so Taking excited. the first invite of the season. I'm, like, super excited. Yeah, right. You were at a lot of GPs last season. Yeah. Had some toss-ups in terms of deck choices and everything else. Yeah. And it well, didn't quite work out. But, I mean, right now... Let's I'll, clap it. Let's take it I'll, out of the way. I will happily take it. Like, uh, you know, after seeing everything that was spoiled for Prissia, I'm like, uh, there's no reason not to play it. Sure. And, I mean, it's the first GP, so it's probably going to be pretty open. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, deck feels really good. It definitely has weaknesses to it, but sometimes it just runs so fast. Like, yeah. You get the cards, it, it's insane. Yeah, I, I, I know that we were talking about um, the Adam deck. Um, that Brandon was playing, and we definitely think that there's already some tweaks that could be made to hedge the matchup a little bit more in Adam's favor post sideboard mm -hmm. in terms of like stone choices and stuff. But at the same time, it kind of feels like all the decks right now, and, and you can correct me if you think I'm different. So it, it kind of thinks that a lot of the decks right now have a lot of strong. There's strong matchups, mm -hmm. then there's weak matchups, but their weak matchups are also just as they also have just as much influence on luck. As Prissia does, yep, so actually, sometimes, I so fully sometimes, agree with that. so sometimes, like Prissia's worst matchup is probably Adam. If, but like, if Adam low rolls and Prissia high rolls, you can just close it anyway. Yep, and I mean that's how I got in because uh, for the last round for Swiss, I had to face off against Adam. Yeah. Right. Now, I mean the the first game, he definitely made a terrible misplay, and that cost him the game easily. Right. Because uh, you know I swing into kills Dark Alice. He doesn't have a white source out. Uh, he floats to Will, but he forgot to float the correct white. color. Oh so no! He floated blue green, and like uh, just let me get claw out next turn. It was Beast Rush, and just yeah. It just so runs over. so super burning Beast Rush, like the most important card of the deck. You think? Uh, I really think that that's like the real finisher. The real finisher. Like, you know, you can get Hulong, get all four Sacred Beasts out. I mean, that can kill even without a reg without Regalia out. Right. Because that can still swing out that's over four. Th th that's 4,000 after Quing Lung Pump. Yep. Right. It's like, I think it was 42 or 43. Yeah, it's like 42, 43 ish or so. It's enough to get yeah. one shot if you can get all of that, even without the Regalia. Uh, you know, the Strangers, the way I built it, like, there's. Regulus is, uh, in there, he's a beast. He's a beast. He's a swift beast, which just makes him very hard to deal with because he's got the big body. Right. Um, but most everything else was for uh, play on my opponent's turn because I run Blue Wizard because it's another Arendite. Right. Uh, the Arendite's inside, but that way I still have an option if I get it. Right. Liz and uh, Yingsebi. Yeah, uh, Yingnitzve, the yeah. thing that pro takes forever to pronounce. Okay. Because you know, getting double blocks with a turtle is a fantastic thing. Yeah, absolutely. I can I can totally imagine that. I know that one card that I think you were playing, but I don't think uh, Jalen was playing. Mm -hmm. Maybe Jalen was. I didn't think I saw it. it was Barust? Was ja uh, Jalen? I don't think he had Barust. Uh, yeah, I don't think um, he was playing Barust in his. He, I, if I remember, most of his sideboard was for interaction with the or the strangers were interaction. Sure. Yeah. Based. Because I know Freya was in there. Uh, he had Green Wizard to pop Barrier onto just you know, mm -hmm. whatever because spot removal is big. Um, but he wasn't running Barris. And that, like, every time I got him, that guy has a chance. Yeah, I mean, um, it's 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 just says, like, okay, you know, a lot of the, the things that we talk about with, with Four Sacred or with Beasts in general is the fact that they get to set up these, like, really wide boards. But there's a lot of other decks right now that can also set up equally wide boards. And so much in the same way that, like, a final battle used to be a way to, like, 
win the wide board war. Yeah. Like, you just burn life and then clear it and swing in. Like, Baruch just says, okay, I'm doing the same thing. Except I'm just going to go right through you. Yeah, I'm going to go through you anyway. Because yeah, that's, that's how uh, Derek, when he handed me off Baruch off of the pull, uh, it's like I don't even need the swiftness for him and the turtle. Just giving Pierce, like, it get, it's... Yeah, even just paying for the three, through. right? Yeah, it's just three freight damage. Yep. Yeah, like, uh, it's... It's fun. I mean, the randomness sometimes is not in your favor, but at the same time, like, most of the effects are going to be useful no matter what it is. Right. Uh, especially for the Beast Rush. Like, you know, most of the time I'm hoping for damage to the face or the 6-6 six, six with Beast. Right. Um, or untap. I never want the Strangers. But, I mean, even the first game against Eric, it gave me three Strangers. Got the bruised. Um, they got bruised, <laughs> and I had two Liz's if I needed it. Right. Which was you know, fantastic. Yeah, I think, so going out of this meta, I'll ask two questions. One, is there anything in the deck, the 65, that you think you would change? Um, probably, like, I specifically made my sideboard so that I could swap into heavy aggro if I needed to. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'd probably stick with that now. Because very often it just wasn't necessary. Just didn't need it? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I might add more Magna Beast, Guardian Beast, because that he's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we saw I saw Jalen play it a couple times, and it pretty much like playing a Magna off of a Super Burning Beast Rush, recovering your three stones, was pretty much just like, okay, well, the game is like pretty much locked yeah, out now. And then your next Super Beast Burning Rush is... Because he, he typically used Magna to grab two Percivals. Yep. And so then dig through the next five so we could find another Super Burning Beast for the next turn. Yep. Are you playing Percivals in your list? No. No, so I, that is a, a change between the two. I played more mid-range. I wanted to have the Beast, the Sacred Beast package. Yeah, I think he's not playing as much of the Sacred Beast package no, as he was. No, he was only playing uh, birds and turtles. Yeah, no tigers or no, no. lungs. Like, I, I was running two of all the beasts except for chicken. I have uh, four, four of those. Yeah, oh, turn things sideways. Yeah, because, I mean, sometimes if you get Hulong or if you get, you know, three of the springs early, just any time like that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's very easy to set them off. Yeah, and so my next question is, going out of this meta, what do you, do you think that, like, what we saw this weekend is going to be very similar to what we see from Minneapolis? Or do you think that there's a part of this weekend's meta and the successes that we've seen and, like, what topped and everything else that was very influenced by the fact that this was set release weekend, pretty untested, um, did people get the cards they need, everything I think else? part of it is just because it was a set release, so people were trying to test out what they think is good. I think that there will probably be more Val, even though I'm not completely sold on her. I'd still play Loki over Val currently. Sure. Uh, I think that we're going to still have a reasonably diverse meta. Oh, yeah, I think for, so, too. For all the decks that we saw here, like, everything had, like, a strength and a weakness and there's not any one that's really amazingly strong because you know i mean prissy can be beat if you keep her claws and additions out yeah i think that was the one thing we talked about with the adam deck is changing the last two stones to be white red and green red yep. so that we could play some regalia breaks yep not make use of that, that. and play uh raise and revive if we need to based on the matchup like and everything white else red, i think is probably like Prissy is hardest because it has so much to remove the additions and regalia. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really what engines the deck because that lets you keep building up more friendship counters, just lets you build up to get that big bird. Beast yeah, rush. yeah, the beast rush for sure. I mean, so, I saw people rolling seven, eight dice at a time <laughs> for the beast rush. It's crazy. Uh, through all of our testing with uh, Jalen and Andrew, I think our uh, the biggest that we ever had was a 13. <laughs> Like, it, and it, it's, it's <laughs> oh, just ridiculous so when you that's go That's so crazy, right, for sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, any, any last thoughts as we walk out of this GP Vegas? I mean, uh, are we going to see you at other GPs this oh, year? Yeah. Or is it like now that we've got the invite, we're going to move on? Oh, or? No. Like, I, I, you know, started traveling last year because, you know, I just had the free opportunity to do sure. so. So I still plan on going to more. Like, we've already got plans for Minnesota and nice. Collinsville. Nice, nice. Um, I think even Houston might end up being, or Dallas, I forget which one it is in Texas, but we might even drive out there. Oh, yeah, um, nice. I, well, then we'll see you there. Oh, absolutely. And all of them. I love the game. Watch yeah, for sure. Playing. Sure. So that is going to be it for us this weekend. To the 79 of you who are still sticking around, we've been averaging around 100 all weekend. We've been super excited to have you all with us. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you liked what you saw this weekend, 
if what you saw was like, yeah, I want to support this, I want to help improve it, want to make it better, there is that join button down below. It is a way for you to become a member of the channel. You've been seeing it in the chats. It gets you access to the chat in terms of being able to participate. It's also the best way to support us financially. Uh, becoming a $2 a month member of the channel is about equivalent to watching 400 of our videos in terms of what we make for ad revenue. So like really, really easy way to support us. We like what we do. We'll never pay wall content in terms of being able to watch the streams. So we're glad that you guys took advantage of that. We, you know, with all the people who were hanging out, um, but the chat and everything else will be paywalled, but you also get all kinds of other perks and stuff too. Um, it helps us get to these events. It helps us purchase new equipment. The new camera that we were able to use for the top of the table stream this weekend, which was, that all came from that. Nice. So uh, we're looking forward to bringing you more. As, as it stands now, we have plans to be at every GP this season except Montreal. So because Montreal and Collinsville the same weekend. Uh, so Collinsville I can drive to, Montreal I'd have to fly to, I pick the drive. That's fair. So, um, but other than that, huge thanks to Carta Magica as well. I mean, they, they were the ones who set everything up for this weekend. They did a great job. Great job. It's been awesome. Um, we had a really good time. And now we get to go chill and enjoy the rest of the day. So, again, congratulations. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And until next time, this is Jeremy Franklin and Mike Nolan saying class dismissed. Have a good one, everybody. Have a good one.